Mic check, mic check. Hello, hello, hello. Now we live. Welcome everyone. Hello. Hope you're all doing good, good, good. Do, 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 do. Let me just get a link so I can spam Discord. Uh, come on, show up. Well, it's not showing up, so forget Discord. All right, then. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're all doing good. Um, my apologies for a little minute ago. My apologies for a minute ago. I accidentally hit live on the stream deck and didn't mean to. So, you guys just caught me cleaning up, unfortunately. Yo, yo, what's up? Yeah, so you guys just caught me cleaning up. My apologies. I'm sorry. Right. So, I am just going to put this MacBook back together while people are coming in. Um, hope you, hopefully, you're all doing good. So this MacBook is done. And now it needs to go back together. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Why is this a silver mic book with a space grey screen? Booted to do MacBook on five volt. Nice. Heads up, mate. You have another video which is still live and scheduled to start. Right. Bear with me a second. Uh. Okay, give me a second. Um, right, yes, I can see one. Okay, let me... Is anyone waiting on this? 34 viewers waiting, right. Let me forward... Let me add a redirect to this live stream. There we go. And then I am going to... Delete it. There you go. Thanks for that, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, right, why is this laptop silver with a space grey? What have I done to this? Have I changed the screen on this one? Uh, Raid your own stream. Possibly. It should do. Um, I, it, I've never tried that, but it should do. Um, hey, Nick Kennedy's here. Welcome. What's with the link hopping? Sorry, dude. My bad, mate. My bad. Little mistake on my part. Um, right, let me just... Uh, let me just figure out what I've done to this. I don't know if I've put the wrong colour screen on this. I don't know if this is a screen I've put on. Because um, if it is, I've got to change it. Uh... Let me just check on the history on this one. <clears throat> Here it is. Right, what's my serial? FVFX HLW. Liquid damage repair plus full keyboard replacement. 
I've put a space grey. I've put a silver keyboard on a space grey laptop. How the hell have I done this? <laughs> How on earth have I done this? Okay, well, that's going to have to be dealt with. Um, so what I think I'll do on this one how have I done this? I've put a so I replaced the housing on this because of the keyboard um, so I took the board out of the other housing put it into this one um, and that obviously sorted the keyboard issue so this was liquid damage the power button wasn't working um, and like an idiot, I have put it back together into a silver housing, which is very, very foolish of me. So, what I'll likely do with this then, rather than faffing around, because I haven't got a silver base at all, so rather than faffing around, actually, I must have a silver base somewhere, but then the serial number is not going to match. So, rather than faffing around worrying, I'm going to get. A laptop which I'm stripping anyway, a um, A1708 which I'm stripping anyway, I will pop in, put this board into that and then call it good, because it's a use screen anyway. So, Cody's got, finally gone to sleep so no singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to take the board out of this. So, nothing too interesting to start with, guys. I've got to get these laptops done. This is this is something I didn't expect to end up having to do. And cheers, Michael. Thanks, mate. Uh, welcome, everyone, by the way. Sorry, I'm just uh, fairly busy, to be honest with you. I have been for a little bit of a while. Man Cave, welcome. Frank and Mac. No, I can't. He's got to go back to a business customer, so I've got to, I've got to put the right colour housing back on it. Got to put the right colour housing back on it. So I'll just, I'll just do board swaps, etc., etc. Um. This is going to mismatch screw as well. I think he's had it in there before. I'm good, thanks, Chris. How are you, buddy? So, yeah. Rocky mistake, but easy one to make, I guess. So, I hadn't fully put it back together. It's a good job I noticed now. Because these are going back in the morning. So, I've got to get these done tonight. But I was too tired to stream last night. I was too tired to do pretty much anything last night. Actually, I'll probably have to swap the screen over as well because the silver housing I've got with a working keyboard is, um, what do you call it? It's got a crack, uh, slight crack in the screen, so. You have a Series X, a Series S. Is it working or, or no? So yeah, sorry guys, I didn't mean to have to bore you with this one. But it is what it is, I guess. Not a lot I can do.
I've got the stream in the background. Nice. I am going to be working on a MacBook a little bit later on. But for now, I just need to get this board swapped over to a new housing. Oh, I hate these things. Well, I hate taking the board out of them. There you go. Do 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 do. I can feel the food karma coming on strong. Very good, very nice. I've actually got a silver screen I could put on this in really good condition. And then just sell this housing. Because why not? Can't believe I've done that. Plus my first YouTube video today is only 13 minutes long. Nice, that's about the average for a YouTube video, mate. That's not bad. What's it about? Repairs? So it needs to sink. Sarah said I'm not allowed because Cold is asleep. So Sarah said I'm not allowed. She has forbade me from singing. Sarah has forbade me from singing. Minecraft. Ugh. Ugh. Hate that game. No, fair play though, mate. A bit of coffee free for all fans. I ain't got fans. I've got watches. I haven't got fans. Love my 2010 MacBook still, Pro still going strong. Um, the 2010s were, were pretty good MacBooks, wasn't they? Phil can get the singing fish. Uh, not yet, Scoot. I just need to get this sorted first, mate. Do 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 do. Got one behind you. Got one what, mate? Oh, nice, Snobby. Hopefully he does really well with that, mate. I'll be honest, I don't personally watch game streams. I kind of find it boring. Um, but no, seriously, I hope he does well with that. That's absolutely awesome, man. I keep swapping the, these bloody screwdrivers. CG! Not that I will be banned. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you, CJ. I appreciate that, mate. Twenty ten MacBooks lag at playing YouTube videos at ten eighty. Do they really? Paul, how's it going, mate? No, Sarah's forbade me from singing. I'm not allowed. Um. So I can't help with um. PS Vitas. Unfortunately, I've never worked on one. Maybe someone in the chat can.
You all say good evening. Yeah, I don't see the point in... No, it's forbade, Scoot. It's forbade. You're well slow, so I'll let you off. But it's forbade. Do some hardware wrap. Right, let's not break another screen. CGX super chatted five dollars and ten cents for Sarah. For Sarah, thank you, CG. But yeah, it's definitely for bade, Scoot. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> Right, I've actually got a silver screen. I can use that housing. I can build a housing with that. Can IPA dissolve plastic? No. At least as far as I'm aware, it doesn't. Right. Let me just have a look, see if I've got a... Silver house, uh, space grey housing up here. I don't think I have. Um, that's that's silver. But I don't think I've got a silver base, a space grey base iPhone, stop it. Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, I'll go grab one. I'll be back in a minute. Buffering. Um, no connection drop at all, mate. Has it been hot where you live? Uh, not today. Not today. Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to go and grab a housing. Hello. Right. Okay. Pop that to one side for a second, that screen. And then... Oh, I have one here. 
Michael, how's it going, mate? Hey, Archie Golden's here. Welcome, mate. I haven't seen you for a while, buddy. Welcome. Did you ever get the iPhone unlocked? No, mate, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sadly not. Scoot, did you Google the word forbade? Alright, this is one I'm stripping down anyway. So I'm stripping this down to sell. Or to sell the parts rather. Wait, what? Oh, damn it, I took the. Yeah, the P2s in there, never mind. I was ordering munch. Ha! <laughs> Sucks with the iPhone unlocked. Yeah, it is what it is, mate. I might, I might send another email in a day or two. So this is one that I never really put any screws or anything in because we were just using it ourselves. So, oh damn it. Yeah, we were just using this ourselves, so it was it's, uh, it's one of them things. What, what did, did I just miss that fan connector out? Well, there you go. Okay, so whoops. No, it's not. It's not been. Lost, it's not report, not been reported. Um, lost or found, uh, lost and found. Um, it's not got any blocks on it. It's just iCloud locked. That's all. Just got an iCloud lock on it. The word forbade means to me forbade past tense refuse to allow something. Yeah, I know. I know. Um I said the word forbade and Scoot said no, it's forbid. I said no. <laughs> forbid is um talking about something in the present, like I forbid you. Forbade is when you're talking about the past, like I forbade him to do that. Trust me, I used to teach English. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Love a scoot. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Right, damn it, why do I always leave that one speaker connector? I always forget that speaker connector. I end up tucking it under the bloody um, motherboard.
I forbade him to listen to his laugh. <laughs> yeah, she'll kill me, mate. She will kill me. Right, let's just make sure that it's all working before... I change the screen and put the other screen back, the original screen on. Damn it! Because that screen that I just took off the other one is the original screen to that laptop. And if there's anything wrong with that screen in the future, then I would lose out if I left another screen on. So even though this has got a couple of cracks in it, it's not really noticeable. So I can sell this screen and probably make most of my money back. Off, off this screen, so yeah, I'm not going to connect up uh, the Wi Fi antennas, not yet. Fans spinning. Oi, dong, you bastard. Oh, come on, you're not dead. You're not that dead. Can you get it for the KSGR12? Um, yes, yes, it will work. I don't know how reliable it would be. Why is my keyboard not working? I know this keyboard works. Yeah, it'll be on AliExpress, mate. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a link to it. Evening, Lawrence. Evening, Philip. No worries, Dennis. Come on. Why is it not working now? charging don't worry about the account on this he's been wiped No, pass. Uh, 
system report uh, power battery health is good I don't know why I'm checking FaceTime it does work though uh, yeah I don't know why I'm checking FaceTime because that this screen isn't staying in huh I think it's just that something's loose. I need to screw everything down anyway, so. Um, but yeah, it's working in that housing. Wrong screw head. I've got to find screws for these as well. I'm good, thanks. Safe, how are you? Came over a PCB card that I'm molding in a case with maybe resin. Do you have any tips? I've never tried to get one out, mate, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, I can't help you there, bud. Sorry, mate. Hang on a minute. These screws. Those screws belong in the screen. It's just about figuring out which screws go where. <laughs> which is never fun of course it's not that one see I don't, I don't actually know where half the screws go in these to be honest uh, I don't think there's meant to be a screw in there I think the uh, yeah the keyboard connector now I just got to realize which screws go in there I'm still not used to all of the screw positions unfortunately circle head screws Uh, yes, it's a 1708, mate. Um, the 840. If you're talking to me, that is. See, half the screws wasn't in the MacBook anyway. But if it's been sent back, I want to put the screws back if I can. I say if I can, I will put the screws back. But I will replace any that are missing as soon as I figure out which ones are which <laughs> hmm Do be do 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 be do do 
if you have one coming with all the screws in the right location, would you remember their exact location? Uh, no, but as long as you're not stupid and you can remember... Look, it, well, as long as you're not stupid and you can think about things while you're doing it, like not trying to force screws in, then you'll be all right. Um, and personally... I don't know where all the screws go, so I just basically trial and error. But I've got pretty much a whole bunch of screws here for different MacBooks. And I will find the right screw. It's just about finding them. That's all it is. It's just about finding the right one. Like that one there, I think. Guess you don't work on iPhones. Uh, iPhones are the same. iPhones are the same. As long as you're not foolish and try and force screws in. See, that that one's the wrong one. Like, as long as you're not foolish and you don't try and force screws in, then you'll be all right. Like that, it doesn't even fit in there. Doesn't fit in there either. I'll find a full set of screws though. Why am I trying to screw the Wi-Fi in anyway? I've got to change the screen. So yeah, I'll be honest, it's probably going to be boring for the first hour and a half or so while I get these Macs sorted before I get down to any actual use your brain repairs sort of thing. But yeah, just don't force the screws in and you'll be alright. Like if you feel resistance on a screw and you just realise that you've still got half the screw thread left to go in, then it's very obviously the wrong screw. Like you'd be a fool to keep on screwing it in. That's why I don't get when people lung screw the laptops and stuff. Like I just don't understand how people do it. No, nope. I'll find, I will find a screw for that. Let me just, um, let me just pull the screen out and change the screen quickly. But yeah, just don't be a fool. Loads of screws. Oh, these are a nightmare, especially when you're changing the screen. Like these in particular, this specific model of MacBook, changing the screen, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Because you've got 12 screws just to take the Wi Fi bar out. And they just so happen to be a different screw to all the rest of them. So it's not a T3, it's not a T5, not even a T8 like the hinges are. It's a P2. Oh no, mate. Oh no, I'm not touching the um, screen until I've unplugged it. I'm just unscrewing these. Never connect a ribbon up while it's plugged in. Doesn't matter what it is. Oh, 
to be honest, I could, I could have just left that board in, gave the customer that board, because I know it works perfect. But then, like I said, if anything else goes wrong with this board, I'll lose out. So, yeah. Um, yeah, never, never touch a ribbon cable while the screen's connected. Never, never say never. hole through the board that shouldn't have been there yeah this is what I mean it's like how do you longer screw a, a board I don't understand it but hey some people eh where's that bloody screw just gone sure it'll pop out in a second when I lift this screen off That wasn't it, but there is a random screw there. There it is. Right, I'm just going to remove the uh, old screen. Well, my spare screen. But I'll still get a decent amount for this um, screen. Even though he's got a couple of cracks in it. Because it's still a fully functional screen. It's just got a couple of blemishes in the bottom of the glass. There you go. Literally all that's wrong with this screen is there's a crack there and there's a crack there on the hinges. That's it. That is literally all that's wrong with that screen. But I can't send that to the customer because they didn't send it here with a cracked screen. So that's why I couldn't just leave my screen in because that would be very, very wrong of me. So I'm putting their original screen into it. which is this one. How's it going, Stone Jace? How you doing? Oh, I hate doing these. Honestly, I really do. bit of hot glue and it's fine <laughs> now to be fair there, there is literally nothing wrong with the screen it's just just cosmetic I forgot to I forgot to pop the uh, the board through I'll go another one in a minute where the camera is not working Probably got to change the screen on that. But again, nothing wrong with the screen.
See, this is what I hate. Just trying to get the cables through. I'm going to have to take that back out a sec. Not chancing cracking the screen. Not worth the risk. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <coughs> How's it going, Jody? Yeah, there can be a nightmare, these can. One slip up and that's it, it's just, you're done. You're 220 pound down. Well, more depending on the screen. A1707, one slip up, 500 pound down. For a damn screen. No damage. Cool. I can close it now and keep it safe. But yeah, one slip up and you on on this one in particular, one slip up you're two hundred pound down the pan. Unfortunately. What party keep guarding. Keep sorting out the Wi Fi for me. I've got bad signal, so keep sorting out the Wi Fi. <laughs> Keep be sorting out the Wi-Fi. Well, that's why I hate doing... Like, unless the screen's already... Cracked, like taking the old screen out, fine because it's you know it's cracked anyway. Who gives a shit? But then, when it comes to installing the new screen, one slip up and you've got to cover it. Like you can't just say to the customer, "Oh, I accidentally cracked it," but you've got to pay me anyway. Like <laughs> you've got to cover the cost. You got to you've got to eat that cost, and it's going to cost you more than you're going to make on it. And it sucks. And yes, I have done it myself in the in the past. <laughs> it's not fun, trust me. It's never fun. Yeah, keeps a good lad <laughs> looking after the Wi Fi for me. Well, sorting out the Wi Fi for me. Looks like you need a refill, your cup's dried up. Yeah, it's got a hole in it, mate. That's what. It, that's the problem. It's got a hole in it. Right, let's just, uh, I'm done with the T8 now. It's just securing the screen connector. Or the screen board. Uh, no, let's not. Let's put in the Wi-Fi bar first.
So even just doing something simple like this Wi-Fi uh, bar can end up a catastrophe if you rip these ribbons while you're doing it. I was pretty pissed the other day though, I bought a screen for one of these, it turned up, I installed it, didn't test it before I put it all back together, and uh, the screen was faulty, it had a backlight but no image, and then I've contacted the seller and the seller's like, and bear in mind I bought four screens in total off the same seller, no five, sorry, I bought a 2337, two space grey A1708s and two silver A1708s. So I bought five screens off the same seller. I contact him about one screen and say, look, the screen's faulty, I need to send it back. And they send me a message and say, are you sure it's not the, the MacBook? Uh, no, mate, because I've just put another screen in that I bought from you. Getting a new phone tomorrow. Nice, what are you getting, mate? I was tempted to pre-order the Z Fold 4. But then I'm thinking, do I really want another bill? Do I really want another bill? <coughs> well, yeah, I was thinking of pre-ordering the Z Fold 4. The iPhone 11. Blech. Not a fan of iPhones, mate, to be honest. But nice, though. I hope it serves you well, mate. I'm sure it will. They're not bad phones. Like The thing I don't like about iPhones is the fact that they're locked down. Like, that's the issue I have with them. The fact that they're, they're just too locked down for my liking. Not the right screw. Neither is that one. You mean secure? Yeah. Nah, they're just too... You can't do enough on them. I just feel like... I actually feel like they're pretty dumb phones when it comes to like apps and store. Because I get it, you can get most apps on the app store, but like, if you can't sideload an app, you don't own that phone. If you can't install whatever app you want just because Apple cares about your security, then you don't own that phone. Like, leave us to make our own mind up and stop trying to do it for us. That's what I say. Stop caring about our security so much. Let us make our own mind up. If we want to screw up, we will screw up. If we want to install a virus that puts porn all over our phone, we'll have fun watching it. Or download a Game Boy emulator. Yeah, you know, you know what? I've got Game Boy emulators on my phone. Literally, I've got a... Like, I, I like to play... I like to play retro games on my own phone. Uh, where is it? Um, can't remember what it's called now. What's my emulator called? Uh, Oh, I did have an emulator. Oh, my boy, yeah, that's it, my boy. I, I like to play emulator, oh, and that's just crash. But beside the point, I like to play emulators on my phone. 
Because they do make good emulators. Especially for like the Game Boy. Game Boy, NES, Mega Drive. Hook a Bluetooth controller up to it and you Gucci. I don't understand why, because obviously, I mean, most, like, let's say, for example, your phone, like, most secure apps, you need, um, most secure apps on your phone, you need your fingerprint, but then you can sideload apps on your laptop, on your MacBook, you can install apps from anywhere on your MacBook, really? Hmm, that's the wrong screwdriver. Uh, that's what I don't. That's what I don't understand. Uh, you can do it on your on your MacBook, but you can't do it on your phone. It's it's kind of stupid. What are you fixing today? This is a MacBook A seventeen oh eight at the minute. Uh, let's just make sure this still turns on and uh, displays an image on the screen. <coughs> Dong, thank you. Don't play games on my phone. I don't get time very often, but when I do, I do like to play emulators. <coughs> I agree, Phil. That do people people are going to find something to complain about, no matter what. But you know, just let us make our own choices. Stop trying to live our life for us. That's what I say. Evening Zipper. I do like MacBooks. In fact, a daily driver 2019. I was daily driving this A1708, but now I've just stripped it because I don't need it anymore. So this board, this board I'm actually selling, um, but it's one that I fixed on a live stream. But that board I'm actually selling. Yeah, it was reading the battery. That's fine. FaceTime works. Okay. So the camera works. So yeah, our seven, our A seventeen oh eight, we are stripping down, and then I'm driving a twenty nineteen at the minute. But then this one is now working as well, so Sarah's going to be daily driving this one when I eventually get around to screwing it all back in. But that one's actually working there. This is the one that I fixed, replaced all the thermal paste on it, and then um, it just suddenly stopped working. Um, it turned out that this wasn't screwed on properly and it was shorting a capacitor out on the heatsink. So... Yeah, we're going to be daily driving the new ones soon. Raining by me, yes, mate. So, yeah, the plan is to daily drive them. Oh, hang on, I'm missing a screw there. Not that screw. Now I've got to find the right one. That's the one.
do 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 oh, I hate these ones you can never line the things up oh, hang on damn it they're the wrong ones see look I've just got to figure out which ones are which <sighs> I might have to go and grab a brand new set of screws because I bought a set of screws well I bought two sets of screws for my own A1708 I bought a set. See, that's the wrong one as well. It's too long. Hmm. Why is that screw not going in? I'm sure that's the right screw. No. Where the hell are the screws? Or which screws are they? Yeah, there's there's way too many screws for this laptop. Way too many. Unfortunately, I'm looking for the screws for the plastic clips here and I can't seem to find them. Or I can't seem to find any rather. Hmm, a bit odd. Um. <clears throat> huh. A little bit strange, I can't find any. It's not that. See, I thought it was these. There's two. They are very small screws. Is that one? I think it might be. No. That's it. Rounded head. That's the one. There you go. Finally. Finally. <clears throat> do we do do do? I was just thinking that I know I've got screws for it. No. I 
I will find screw enough screws to put in this thing. It had a, the problem is it had half the screws missing, but I don't want to send it back with no screws because if I've got screws lying around, I may as well put them in. It don't make no sense not to. There's the correct Wi-Fi screw. Laptops are stopped by those fixed because I think they were going out of fashion with tablets becoming more prevalent and phones becoming more powerful. What's your opinion? Uh, uh, that's a tough one, mate, to be honest. I mean, people still want laptops, but I don't know. It, that's a tough one there, bud. Oh, I've got to find a screw for this. See now, because I'm literally using spare screws, it's just, it's just literally a case of let's find one that fits and doesn't. Or that isn't going to long screw the sheet out of the laptop. Right, which one is that one? Right. Now I know which size it should be. Yeah, it's like, let's not long screw the laptop and find the correct screws for it. Better. That is better. Much, much better. Much better. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Just got to find some for this now and then I'm done. Charging looks fine. What's wrong with this one? Uh, this one... This is one that I actually fixed on a live stream. Um, it was liquid damaged. But when I replaced the keyboard... Like an idiot, I've put a um, put a silver keyboard base on it, and it was it's got a, a got a space grey bottom cover, which means I could either change the bottom cover and try and explain to the business customer why hang on because I've got another MacBook here I'll figure it out I'll figure it out. Yeah I can either explain to the customer why I've had to change the serial number on the bottom and then try and explain which one it is and which white what lines um why it corresponds to a certain serial number or or I can uh change the base and not have to worry about it so I chose the latter I'm sure I just tried that screw I'm an idiot. Let me put this one back into that other laptop. <clears throat> I had him right in front of me. Well, I had the correct screws right in front of me. 
Oh, let me just double check this. Uh, I'm going to put a cover on here. But other than that, we're done. It's just a screen cover now. Don't need the P2 anymore. So, I oh know, I realise this is boring, guys. I'm sorry. Um, this is the stuff I'm meant to be doing while I'm not streaming, but... It is what it is. Unfortunately, it's got to be done. See, some of them I know the correct screws. And I am learning. I am getting there in terms of knowing exactly which screw goes where. I will get there. <clears throat> Damn it. It's like these screws are just so incredibly fiddly. See if you can free if you can free spin your uh, your screw and not have it off open any resistance and you know it's the right screw. Right, there we go. That's the correct base. See the problem is as well is I've got look because I've been doing a lot of MacBooks lately, I've got spare bases just all over the place. So I have to make sure as well that the correct base is going onto the correct laptop. Uh, actually, let's just let's just triple check this. Um, damn it! <laughs> yeah, rip. Now I've got to. Take this one back off so I can lift up the um, heat sink and put that foam back up, that rubber back on. <coughs> Gonna make sure the rubber vent cover goes back on. That's the wrong screwdriver, isn't it? How that started screwing with the T3, I'll never know. But yeah, one motto of mine is, if it's missing screws when it comes in, and I've got screws, then I will put them back. I will replace them. I mean, it's a screw, what does it cost? <laughs> Quite expensive if the, if the girl's good looking. Ha! <laughs> now we're gonna find a set of base screws. Now we're gonna find a set of base screws.
I'm getting better at screwing. That's what she said, mate. Oh, come on. If you're going to lie around. Exactly, mate, yeah. If, you, if they're lying around, then, you know, I might as well. Sorry, that's not quite lined up. not lining up is that slightly misaligned wait That's damaged. Now that, I don't have a spare. Why is it not lining up on one side? Hammer can fix anything. <laughs> it is true, my friend. It is true. I hate lining these up sometimes. But they're just a pain in the ass. Go back to the old design apple. Yeah, it's just really not lining up on that one side. I 
I don't know if this plastic clip's damaged. It seems like it might be a little bit. Um, I haven't got a spare. Sorky mod just subscribed on Twitch. They're definitely the right screws. Let's see if it lines up without it. It's all coming back. Yeah, no, I'm just talking about the way these bases just sit flat and then screw in. Like, it was just so much better. So he needs them clips in as well. Because I don't get ads. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't submit ads. A lot. I don't tell it to play ads while I'm streaming. Like if, it'll play one at the start for most people, but other than that, hmm, that one was a bit loose. Yeah, but other than that, it uh, it shouldn't play any ads. Other than that first one, uh, I actually did have a spare to that, so I'll try that one. Actually, no, let's try the other one now. I've just tightened that. Screw up for the hinge. It might have been that. You're missing a plastic cover hint. Uh, yeah, no, I was just seeing if it lines up without it because the plates, not, like the base, just doesn't seem to be lining up. Whoa, really? Oh, come on. The screws just sheared off on me. Come on, man. You have got to be kidding me. Is that why? Was the screw fucked? Is that why it wasn't lining up? Was the screw knackered? Why would you do it? Is it just the top of the screw that's come off? Wait. What's that? Is that meant to be on that hinge? Or is it a weld spot? I've got to find a way to get that out. So I thought I thought it was just the top of the screw that came off, but it's not. It's either I've got to find a way to get it out, or I've got to Dremel it flush. I can Dremel it flush so as I can get the actual... base on oh, 
I'm not going to do that, am I? It's not going to come out of there. No, I'm not putting hot air near the screen, mate. No, I'm not doing that. I would rather Dremel eat flush. Is it me or has that lifted up a little bit? I haven't got a drill bit, mate, that would get in there. Um, got it. I can't believe that screw just sheared off on me. Look, hey, pure skill. <laughs> yeah. Cheers for the chant, Phil. I would have I would have just dremeled it flush if I had to. But that was definitely not my first choice. Yay, there we go. Well, screw you, MacBook. Screw you, MacBook. I win. Can't believe that just happened. Well, I can, because it's just my bloody luck, in it? I mean, come on. It's just my luck. Now we're going to find replacement screws. So yay me. But yeah, putting hot air near the screen, that's definitely not an option for me. Um, to me, it's just not worth the risk.
my check. My bad. <laughs> FCD, thank you, mate. Sorry about that, guys. Cashew FCD super shattered two dollars and three. My cents. bad. We don't hear you, mate. Embarrassed smiley face. I can't find my P5. Ah. <sighs> And you ought to know That tonight is the night to let it go There we are I wanna see how you lose control Clip. 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 <laughs> Wasn't it a Volvo revolver? Ha! Tonight is a night to let it go And I put on a show And I wanna see how you lose control There we go Is this a song show? Yep I'm leaving Phil singing Ha <laughs> ha Name that tune Down by Jay Sean down by Jay Sean. Twas released in approximately 2011. Phil Sarah forbade you from singing. <laughs> Fuck Sarah. No, seriously, you can. Take her off my hand. I don't mind. When was that song released? Two thousand and nine. I was close, you know. Pizza or McDonald? Pizza. I've got a good woman. Well, then you're lucky. <laughs> No, I just, uh, I, I'm only messing around. I love her, really. Right. That, be done. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll fix something, and then I'll come back to the next MacBook that I'm going to sort out. All right, how's that? Let's fix, um, let's fix a router. How's that sound? Let's put all of those screws in a big pile just here. Instead of put on a show, Sarah said no. Ha! <laughs> A router, yes, with no power. I shall be back in a moment. Jimbo, thank you for renewing your channel membership, mate. I appreciate that, buddy. I said router, yes. Router. A router's worth fixing. Uh, according to the customer, yeah. <laughs> I said I'd give it a crack. Right, I'll be back. That rhymes. Cocoa water. Water. More importantly, 
coffee. In official Coda merch. Okay. The code that load forward slash merch. Hello. Well, all righty then. Let me just get my mic back. There we go. All right. So, in today's episode, I am going to be fixing a Netgear Nighthawk router slash router slash it's a friggin' internet box, alright? <clears throat> anyway. What does this subscribe button do? Let's find anyway. Hope you're doing well. Egg sandwich with marmalade. Oh no. How do you pronounce ouch? Ouch. What's that swimming in the coffee? Ugh, bits of dust. Adds to the flavour. I think it's the RX 7000, yeah. Adds to the flavour, fuck it. I'm not fussy. 
I'm not posh. I'll still drink it. Can run open WRT on them. I'm not sure, to be fair. I've got my mesh Wi-Fi kit, so I'm all good. <coughs> I'll stick with that. Thank you very much. Right, I need a socket. Bear with me. Dead lamp port. No power. No power. Let me just drop that down there. Oh, you can do mesh. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is going to take me a minute. That's an ugly fucker. Yep, just a bit. Apparently it's not the power brick. Apparently that's been tested. Right. There we go. So, I'll plug that in. Just get my microphone back. <coughs> right, okay, so this is a Netgear Nighthawk. Oh, it's the X4S. Uh, it's a Netgear Nighthawk X4S R7800 model. Uh, smart Wi Fi router, that's apparently not very smart because it can't turn on. So, customer said that they have tried. The power brick and nothing happens so we got no power lights at all bang <laughs> yeah no power lights at all. Okay. All righty then. Let's uh, let me just set my multimeter up. Let me just set my multimeter up. On the screen. Come on. Multimeter's not going to work now. That's nice, isn't it? Hmm. It's not going to connect. Well, it might help if it was actually plugged in. Ha! I swear, I, I know what I'm doing, I swear to you. I promise I know what I'm doing. Honestly, I promise you I know what I'm doing. Is it going to pick up? I think I've got to reset it again. <coughs> More coffee sounds about right, mate. Re hot coffee, please, bro. For some reason, it was picking up the COM port, even though... Oh, wow, that's lagging like hell, though. It's not... It's not actually connecting it.
This is the first time this mortar meter has been turned off in two months. Wow, that software is just really not working. I'll try it once more. No, it's not working. I'm sorry. I probably need to reboot my PC. It's not working. Right, okay. Well, never mind. So, this isn't working then, the, uh, the router. Let me just see if there's any info on here as to what the power brick is no there is not okay so I'll just have to guess so let's just test the brick we get Why is it on low speed? What the hell? Huh. Twelve point twenty two volts. Twelve point twenty two volts. Okay. So the power brick seems to be working absolutely fine, but it's just got no lights at all on it. It's just not firing up whatsoever. Okay, cool. So I guess the first thing to do then is just check and see if we've got a short on the main 12 volt input between the outer pin and ground, at uh, the outer pin and the center pin. We do by the look of it, okay. All right, well, let's get it open then. Looks like it's gonna be a T8, I would say, looking at the size of these. No. T10. T10. All right. So it looks like we've got a short on this 12 volt line. Bear in mind, I have never worked on one of these. Never even held one. Haven't looked at a schematic, haven't researched any of this. I'm just going to use, well, try and use um, my own skills if I can while well, you're fixing an internet box. Because customer want to be too, mate. If a customer is going to pay for it, then I will fix it. Unless it's a PS3 or Xbox 360. Then I won't. All right, now I've got to figure out how to bloody get this thing open. There's another screw there, isn't there? You sneaky little bastard. Don't ask me where the feet have gone. Oh, I'm not the first one inside this. Always the first. Yep, yeah, the customer's well aware that I've never looked at one. Um, he might be watching, to be honest. How do I get in? I can see that it comes apart here. Oh, you can see that it comes apart there. <laughs> I can find a water damage deal though for you to look at. Bring it on, mate. I'll even have a sniff. I need a pro tool of some sort. Uh I need to try and get into this thing. I'll tell you what the scary thing is about a water damaged dildo. How it got water damaged. 
Was she that wet? <laughs> hey, micro repairs. Welcome, mate. Right. No, it does not come apart from there. Okay. That's the base. At uh, the back. <laughs> In the bathtub. Hey, there we go. It just clips in. All right. I'm good, thanks, Chris. How are you, buddy? Okay. Well, that works for me. All right. There's no uh, hidden screws. What's with this here? What's that? Oh, it's, it's off thermal pads. Never mind. All right, ignore me. Right, okay, so it looks like we've got a short on the 12 volt line. Um, according to the multimeter, let's just double confirm that near the boards out to make sure I wasn't touching both the same part. 100 ohms, yeah, that's not normal. 96 ohms, and that is actually dropping as well. So, between the positive and negative on the DC jack, it is definitely short. So, now we need to figure out why. What's going on here? Why is the tape on these? What's going on here with these two caps? All right, let's pop Discord so you can so I can tell you off. <laughs> I will in a minute after this repair, mate. Let's pop under the scope. Let me see if I can see anything visual. I am seeing something strange here with these two caps. I'm not sure why they've been messed with in terms of solder. But here's what I'm seeing. But they've definitely been messed with because that's not factory solder or at least I don't think it is um, are they short? Has someone already found a short there and um, uh, and I've been trying to remove him Apparently not. No, apparently they're not short. All right. So let's just go over the board then. So power comes in here. I assume this is going to be positive, and this big plate here is going to, plane here is going to be negative. I think. Um. Let's just double check that. I got some zero arm resistors. They look like they're going to be f used as fuses. Why is it out of focus for me? Yeah, they're definitely um, they're definitely short. All right, 
Oh, well, not completely short, but they're short. They're short ish. Okay. So, let's follow this then, shall we? So it goes through here. So it could be something here. It could be one of these caps here. Um, oh, that appears dead short. Oh. No, they're not caps, are they? These are going to be... I don't know what B stands for. Okay, so... Is that side of that cap ground? Hmm. Not sure. Those are coils. Why are they not marked as coils then? Why are they marked with a B and not an L? It should be marked as a B. Hmm. Very odd. So then I guess it comes down here and then goes through the board. I mean, to be fair, I could be there all day trying to trace where it goes in. I'm better off just inspecting visually. Oh. Might have dropped some frames there, guys. Everything went off for a second. Uh, can anyone confirm we're still live? Everything flickered for a second. Looked like it might have been a transformer handover, but... I did drop a few frames. Still live. Okay. Cool. That will do me, then. Um, yeah, I did drop a few frames there. I don't know if anyone's seen any flickering of lights and stuff. But I did definitely drop a few frames. All good, sweet. Okay, right. Let's crack on then. So I think it's best to just give it a visual inspection first. See if I can see anything out of the ordinary. Might be ferrite beads. Um, yeah, I've never got that far into electronics and how electronics work, so I don't actually know what they're for. Uh, I've heard of them, I just don't know what they're for. Um, I've got a feeling that it's probably going to be a MOSFET or something that's gone bad. We've got a, we've got a hundred ohms short on twelve volts, so um, I don't know how much use injecting voltage is going to be. Uh, I'm not seeing any damaged components. It's a DC port, okay, inside. Uh, it appears to be, but I can check it. I'm just gonna, just gonna inspect the other side first. There's not really that much on the other side. There is a shield. There's not all that much on the other side. That's gonna be for the ports in it. So this might be something where I have to figure out the fault and then order parts for it. Or it could be something that I just can't figure out at all. That I don't know. I want to know why someone's messed with these. These two caps here. Alright. Not seeing anything. Inject max volts. <laughs> oh, now I'm seeing something. Now I've took this shield off. Do you see what I see? 
I see a burnt I see. There is only one problem. How the hell am I going to um, identify this IC? Because it's burnt. It go pop indeed. Well, that would explain it. I don't know what that's going to be for. What's on the other side in that area? Um, bear with me. Let me just pop this other shield off. Right. Directly below that on the other side is absolutely nothing. That's on the other side. So, is that a MOSFET? Schematics time. Good luck finding a schematics for that. A schematic for that. Uh, yeah, very doubtful I'd find a schematic for that, mate. Um, but yeah, that has gone pop. I need to see what the damage is on this. Um, in terms of... Uh, Box three driver. I don't know what that is. Yeah, exactly, friend. I think this is going to be fused onto the router, um, like onto the board. Look, that's going to take traces when it comes up, guaranteed. Guaranteed, it's going to take traces. I think number one, the customer's got lucky that this hasn't caught fire, but it is contained in a metal box anyway, so. It would be okay. But I think that initially this cap has gone bad. And it's took out this chip. I am not going to identify that. Does anyone know what that chip would be? Based on those very limited numbers. Driver and MOSFET integrated into a single chip. Yeah, possibly. Um, now, the problem is, like I said, identifying that chip. I might, because I'm pretty sure 79642. Is it? Let's have a look, see if I can find anything based on that. Just put an Xbox One in it. Ha. No, not seeing anything. Does anyone have one of these routers that they could strip apart and figure out the um, the chip number for me? What model router is it? It is a. Nighthawk R7800. Let me see if I can find a schematic.
Looking for a teardown, not finding one. Link in Discord my help. Uh, what link's that, mate? Uh, where's the Where's the um, uh, what What section of Discord is it in? Is it in general? I see fried chip. Yeah. It's a don't buy a 7800 series. <laughs> uh, oh, you mean a, as a DM? Let's have a look. Well, does that have a board um, overview on it? Like a look at the look of a board? I'm going through the images to see if I can find a picture of the back of the board. Just sent an image now on Discord. Uh... No, then you post the URL. Uh, yeah, it'll block URLs on YouTube and Twitch. Um... Love all the help. Yeah, oh mate, the community's amazing. Um, if anyone can figure out what chip I need, it's that is this community. Because if I can get it off without too much damage to the board, then I can order a chip. And the cap, I can put any cap there, really. I'll put like a 100 nanofarad cap or something there. 100 nanofarad, 1 nanofarad. No, yeah, 100 nanofarad. Or like 1 microfarad or something. Yeah, not seeing a picture of the back of the board. Um, five, four, two, one, oh, what's that, mate? Why does the screen not move? Because I'm trying to research a chip, mate. I'm trying to figure out where what chip I need. Um, can you zoom out for a second just to get an area detail? Ah, that's the best I can zoom. It looks like some sort of power management for the... I'm going to say NAND. Or some sort of RAM. goes through there oh wow that's power management for the CPU guys fill link in discord where in discord mate Oh, I'm never going to identify that from there. Uh, 
don't think I'm ever going to identify that chip from that image. It's not high res enough. Wait a minute, this is an old revision. That's not the same revision board. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I'm never going to identify that from there, mate. I can't see. I can't see the chip number. <laughs> the chip's called a T1000. I think I'd need, I think I'd need to buy a donor board. PA5542. Let's have a look, see if I can find anything on that. I appreciate the help, guys, by the way. Three stage power amplifier designed for 802.11a NC ANAC applications. It could be that, yeah. 20 QFN is that? Is that 20 QFN? Um, or 20 WQFN, yeah. Um, Alright, where's pin 1? Pin ones. Not connected, ground, RF in, ground. So what is it? Is it a Wi Fi? Is that just going to be a boost? Um, like an RF boost thing? I'll show you what I'm looking at. So this is what I'm looking at. If that's the correct... Just posted a link in Discord. Um, no, let's not show everybody's messages on Discord. Let's not do that, Phil. Come on, you know better than that, Philip. Um, well, it looks like it's a common issue. Um, thank you for that link, mate. I appreciate that. Someone zoomed in on that. Uh, someone's already posted a picture of it. With that chip damaged. Here's the link. Coming up. There you go. Uh, CPU core regs. See, this is what I'm thinking, because I just saw that, I just saw where those traces go. I just saw where this go, and if that's took 12 volts, I'll show you where they go. So here's the chip. And if you look at the traces, you can see, well, where was I looking just? I think I was looking from that, that orientation. Um, which orientation was I looking? 
Because I've just followed those traces. I believe it was here. Yeah, and then they go up here. They go through the board um, there, which comes out here. And then these traces all lead back to the CPU. So it might not be worth fixing. It might not be worth fixing. Hmm. I mean, I can... I can try and fix it if I can find a chip. Like if I can actually buy one of them chips, then I can try and fix it. But I, I would have to charge a repair attempt fee because I think I think the risk is too high. Oh wow! It looks like you can only buy them in packs of ten. Could have got a look. Eh? Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's worth the risk. Yeah, see, I would have to, I would have to charge like at least forty quid repair attempt fee. There's one here with a forty one port. Hmm. I don't think it's viable. SMB 208A. Eh? You may buy it, but it has to be programmed. Yeah, we fucked that, didn't we? I mean, you could buy one as 40 and then take the chip off it, right? But chances are it's going to have took the CPU out. Nah, customer are going to have a dough on the board. I think it's the only one, but it goes to the CPU. Like, um, it goes to the CPU by the look of it. So I don't. I just don't think it's worth it. Fifty eight quid from CEX with a two year warranty. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it. Then, if I was to if I was to do that, I would have to charge a repair attempt fee because um, I've got to buy a specialist chip, um, like just to be able to work on it. It's not viable. It is a two hundred dollar router, not second hand. Not second hand. It's just not viable. And it's 50 50. Probably less than 50 50, mate, I'll be honest. So those lines go to the CPU. There's, there's data lines. There's data lines that go straight to the CPU. If one of those data lines took, took 12 volts for even a split second, the CPU is dead. Inject one volt. I could inject one volt. You are right there. Shall I? I could inject one volt. There is, of course, an option. Pop goes the weasel. But yeah. I think this is probably toast. Most likely toast. Zip it just resubscribed for six months. It's not gonna hurt. Yeah, one volt wouldn't. 
One volt's not going to hurt at all. So let's do that. But it's probably going to... Probably going to end in uh, a little bit of heat around the CPU, I would say. I need to... I need to ground this somewhere. Not point not not eight amps. Not drawing enough current to one volt. I mean, it is a twelve volt line. At 12 volts, I'm getting 244 milliamps. I've just get, I've just gave a steady climb. I'm getting 248 milliamps of current draw. Um, I haven't set the on-screen reading up, mate. Ow! Yeah, it's getting hot. It's getting hot in that area. So it is definitely there, which which is shorted. I don't know if it actually has gone to the um, CPU. Let's just remove that chip. Oh, as Bro as Bro Flosky said. Let's remove that chip. I mean, I'm not gonna put that chip back no matter what, that chip is one boozle, but let's just remove it, shall we? Oh that that chip's a goner. Don't cook yourself. I'll try. Okay, so no matter what that chip is never going back on, but let's just see if it wants to power up without it on. Just out of curiosity. It's going to take a... I've got the hiccups. It's going to take a little bit to get this off, so I'm going to preheat the board. While I stretch over and grab my flux. Remember the orientation. Um, the orientation is uh, I can't even see it. Right, so I'm only at 190 degrees Celsius at the minute. But now I'm going to give it full heat. Oh wow. Yeah, it's welded to the board. Smells good. Don't smell it. Yeah, that's pretty burnt right there. Pretty toasted. 
Although, not as bad as I thought it would be. To be honest, not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I still don't know how viable it's going to be to fix it. Or whether it's even going to be possible. Because I think, judging by what I've just seen and what some of you guys have said as well, it, it's a programmable chip. Which means this is going to need, if, even if I buy one, I'm going to need to program it. And obviously I don't have a way to do that. So you'd need a donor board, which means you'd need another dead unit. And the other dead unit has probably got an issue. Well, there's one on eBay for 40 quid, but then the customer's going to have to pay like 100 quid. And you can buy them cheaper than that second hand. Wow. Wamboozled, huh? There's no memory on the chip. No, but it still has to have a function. Programmer for the IC is 70 quid. Yeah, I ain't buying that. Wow, he's took the pads completely off the chip look. Those are the pads off the chip. That's all carbonized. That's going to have an internal short there. So all of that there is going to be conductive. But all of that layer, look, that layer is it's gone. The layer's gone. The second layer's gone. Good night, nurse. Yeah. That is bamboozled. I sell this coal. I know, right? Yeah. That's multi layer damage. Although, it's not shorted anymore. It isn't short anymore, but... Obviously, it's not going to turn on. Because he's missing that chip. Damn it. Hang on. I'm using the wrong probes. Ha! Wrong probes. That was my multimeter probes. It is still short. Oh, but it is turning on. It's short. No, it's not short. It's turning on. But I don't know how functional that would be without that chip. CPU gets... Warm. Don't know what the buttons mean, so I'm going to put it back inside. On, but won't work. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Well, I might as well put it back together anyway. So, is it fixed? No, this ain't fixed, mate. I couldn't call that. I couldn't justify that as fixed. Wow, look at that. The switch. No. Switch is set to on. It's not going to work without the uh, without that chip. What's someone done to that? Uh, 
My co mage, hello. Is that tilting anybody with that being diagonal? Too much damage yet. I mean, I could send it back to the customer if he wants to use it, if it works. Well, let's say it works. I could send it back and if he wanted to use it, it's his router. But this is scrap, honestly, even if it works. Um, from what I saw online, that's some sort of um, like an RF boost IC or something like that. I don't know. Could be wrong, but it looks like some sort of RF boost IC. Well, apparently that is firing off. Okay, well that light was apparently the ESAT port. So yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to power anything on. Shove it on the wall. Yeah, so nothing's powering on. It's just literally the ESAT. Um, so he's providing power to ESAT. So, yeah, I just don't think it's viable because I need a donor board to be able to fix it. And there is one on eBay right now for forty pound, but it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's better off buying another one. Which sucks to say, but you can buy one for £58 from CEX. £58 from CEX. It's not viable to fix this unit at all. If I'd have known that first, I would never have even worked on it, to be honest. They take about two minutes to fully boot, do they? Well, I still don't think it's going to boot. If I'd have known that, if I'd have known that you could buy these for fifty-eight quid, my minimum bench fee is forty. Like, if I'd have known that you could buy them for fifty-eight quid, I wouldn't have worked on it. But I said I'd give it a try. I've gave it a try, and my opinion is that it's not viable. My opinion is that it's just not viable. You may as well just go in there. I wouldn't even pay to have it returned. I'd just scrap it. If that was me, I'd just say to the guy, sorry, I'll scrap it. So sorry for being so sarcastic. Oh, mate, it's all good. Old school metal box net gear router switch any day. Yeah. I got it for £10. Um, what, was this yours, Menacing Grimace? Is this, is this your... Yeah, you're the customer, right, okay, yeah, I mean, personally, mate, if I'd have known how much it would have cost, like, you, you can get them for 58 quid, my minimum bench fee is 40, like, it, it wouldn't have been viable to do it, but that trace is so far gone, I don't think, even if I managed to get hold of a working chip, I don't think it'd be viable, but it was interesting anyway, like, it was interesting just to see it. Um, look, I don't, this is why I said I don't mind looking because it's, you know, it's one of them. But yeah, do you want me to send it back? Or do you want me to scrap it? Because that's not going to boot up. And I, I'm not going to get a working chip for less than 40 quid. Do you want me to send it back or scrap it? Because that, I very much doubt that's uh, gonna what do you call it. Okay, mate. Well, I'll get in touch tomorrow, mate, and um, sort out the postage for the. Pit. But then again, it's gonna cost me the same to pet send. The um, I mean, it's gonna be a small parcel with Royal Mail, which is like four pound forty-five. It's gonna cost me the same to send it back to you as an entire unit, and then you can just flog it on eBay or something. Then it's gonna cost to send just a power brick. So I'll just get in touch tomorrow, mate, and uh, we'll sort out the postage on it.
Can you, can you forgive me for being rude? You know what you should do with this, actually? Because it's going to cost me the same to send the brick back. You know what you should do with this if you're any kind of um, a DIYer or a tinkerer? Put a pie in it. Put a raspberry pie in it or something like that. There's loads of room to put a raspberry pie in that. Throw it through a window. If you don't want it back, I'm going to put a raspberry pie in it. Loads of room to put a raspberry pie in that. Little mini emulator. It'd be awesome. Got in the enemies. Plenty. Most of them are watching me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Most of them are watching me now. I'll tell you what, one of the days then, alright, I'll sort I'll sort I'll sort this out with you. Uh this power brick. And uh one of the days I'll see if I can do a, a Raspberry Pi project on it. So I'll sort I'll sort out the power brick and then One of the days, I'll have some fun with it. I've got a Raspberry Pi, I think. I think. Drive-by repairs. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a shame because they are nice routers, but you know, it's just one of them things. Like, if I'd have known, I'll be honest, if I'd have known that it was only 58 quid on CEX, I wouldn't have even said send it. I'd have just been like, no, listen, it's not worth it. Because it's the same with the Xbox 360s. Um, like it's the same with the Xbox 360s. There, like you can buy them for the for the same cost as my bench fee, which is why I don't work on them. Same as the PS3s, the value is open to BRT. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I'm not that far into um, like routers and stuff like that. I've got my mesh system. My mesh system cost a few hundred quid. Like my mesh system was not cheap at all. But I'm happy with it. So it's on, on a car boot far, car boot sale far from home. Yeah, I'll get 20 quid for that on a car boot. Is it working, mate? Of course it's working. <laughs> Doesn't everything on a car boot work until you get it home? <laughs> no, it's a shame, but yeah, there's just nothing you can do. Um, like, even if I could get a chip, I've got to find a way to program it. Um, and if I've got a programmable chip, it means buying a donor board. And the only one I saw on eBay was 40 quid. So it's going to cost 40 quid just for the chip and then labour. So, yeah. It is a shame, but never mind. We tried anyway. It was interesting. It was interesting, to say the least. Right, I'll go and get the next job then. And, uh Ready to build out my network. Okay, fair enough. And personally, try the Deco M4Rs. If you want a good mesh Wi Fi system, cheap. Deco M4R. It's a set of three on Amazon for £100. And honestly, they are brilliant. Next Xbox. Liquid damage? Does that sound good to you guys? Liquid damage Xbox? Alright. Cool. Right, I'll be back. Watching you so much, even my bird. Lindsay started to repair, repair all kinds of stuff. Awesome, man. Speed. Um, gigabit, mate. Uh, I'm connected to it now. So actually, my mesh Wi-Fi system. The way I've got it connected is I've got I've got it connected to the main modem. The modem's got Wi-Fi turned off. Um, and I've got it connected to the main modem through Ethernet. The then I've got another Ethernet coming through the wall up the side of the house. Um, through the bedroom, up into the loft, and then into my 8-port switch. And then from my 8-port switch, that's connected to the PC and another pod. So I've got obviously I've got full signal Wi-Fi in the loft. Um, and uh, speed test. I'm on gigabit, by the way. I'm not going to let you do the upload test because that will fuck with the stream. But, yeah, 
So it's coming fr from the modem to the pod, to the main pod, then to the switch, and then to the computer. There you go. 930. 930. I think it's AC 1200. Um, I don't know. But I use the PC up in the... Uh, I use the PC up in the loft on wired. Demo. So these are 99.99 for a three pod set. Yeah, AC 1200. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I know I haven't got Prime membership. Because I didn't want to pay for it when I'm not using it, you dickheads. I will pay for it when I'm good and ready. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. Um, here's a link. If you want to check it out, just read the reviews. But I've got two sets of them. <coughs> you can get the uh, the 2200. I'll probably upgrade to them when I move. Um, so I can mount them to the ceiling, get them out of the way. Probably upgrade to them when I move, but they are pretty good, to be fair. That beats my thirty down two up. <laughs> but they work. I never have an issue with them. Never have an issue with the pods. Order a bunch of things and get Prime stuff free shipping and then cancel my Prime on to next month. Exactly, mate. It's the same with Uber Eats. I've got that Uber One thing. I don't pay it when I'm not using it. Like if I don't use Uber for a month, why am I going to pay an extra six quid? When is the big move? Um, we're still lucky for somewhere, mate. Pod of shite, 80, 20. Well, them pods are do you absolutely great then, mate. And they all work off each other, so as you move from room to room, it'll just pick up the next pod. Honestly, they're great. They're absolutely great. And they've got a gigabit port on them as well. Well, two gigabit ports. Um, my pods are hardwired, which is why I get such strong signal. Like, on my phone. Like, if I connect um, Wi-Fi on my phone... Um... I'm getting 300, over 300 in my loft on my phone, which is not bad at all, to be fair. Over 300 on my phone, and you don't need that more than that on your phone. It's to improve Chromecast. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, Fiber. we can't get anything like that around here, mate. It's the same as that City Fiber thing, we can't get it. Can't get any of it. Right, I'm going to go get the next job. So, un moment, senor. I shall be back. Let me just close all this. But yeah, I recommend checking out those, um, those decos. They are pretty good. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere because every time you cry, every time you leave, a little bunny cries. So if you don't want a little bunny to cry, do not leave. It's not hard. And don't forget to like the stream while you're there. <coughs> anyway, back in a minute. <laughs> I'll be back. See, ten people have just made bunnies cry. Assholes.
Tell me. Okay. See, I've got shit in this cup as well now. Oh well. That's coming up the loft stairs, that is. Dust on the loft door. Yeah, I'll have to move for it tomorrow. Oh well. Stop it. Magic look. I swear, this this camera hates Xboxes. I don't know what it is about, about Xboxes, but this camera just hates them. I have to keep my hand there to stop it from doing that. Right, anyway. Um, I think this is liquid damage. Let me just double check. Um, I bet it wasn't water. <laughs> Let me just double check. Um... Repair orders, filters, um, three double eight nine. Um, I haven't looked at the ticket. Uh, I left it in the box. One six seven ten sixteen. Hmm. Someone. Hasn't submitted their serial number. Why do people do this to me? Someone hasn't submitted their serial number. Either that, either that or they've submitted it wrong. I'm pretty sure when I looked at because what I do is before I go live, I always line up the jobs that I'm going to do. So if, I've, if I'm planning on doing, like, let's say, for example, four jobs, I'll line them up. Um, and, uh, yeah. So basically, I've lined these up, and I'm pretty sure when I looked at the ticket on this one, it said water damage. So, uh, what shop? What software do you use for repair booking? Um, well, I can't show you the software because it's got customer information, but it's a it's an app called Repairbox on CodeCanyon.net. Right, let's see what happens. Okay. It turns on. Hmm. Stickers and scanner. Yeah. I mean, I could set it up like that if I wanted to. I have actually got a barcode scanner as well. Right, let me just... Um Damn it, no, I don't want settings, I want studio mode, there you go. It might be a no display. Hmm. It may be a no display unless my HDMI cable's playing up as usual. Well, I thought this was liquid damaged, unless it st suddenly started working. Guess what else? I've just wasted half a fucking litre of isopropyl alcohol. So, yay me, because I've just knocked it over. There was literally not even a full bottle in there. Right, but it's still no signal on that HDMI cable. Did that earlier too. Mate, I'm always doing it. <laughs> yeah, still not displaying. So let's go to the ugly cam for a minute. If I can find my remote. 
Oh, I've got fucking no chance. There it is. Probably one from your TV. I've got two ports here. Um, I've got a socket fit, like screwed and sunk into my desk. Actually, my port does look damaged. Well, the back of it does. I haven't looked inside. Hang on a minute. No, this is not the liquid damage one. No, this only come in today. Shit. I've just picked the wrong one up. I'll just pick the ring one up. This is a HDMI port job. It's Sarah's brothers. Do I do the HDMI port job or do I go and get the liquid damage one? Because this one only come in today. This is Sarah's brothers. I think I should go and get Do both. Customers come first. Family first. Hell no. Family get discounts. Customers come first. Oh, well, I'll do the HDMI. Fuck it. It's meant to be first come first serve, guys. As Charles just said, I'll do this. I know I've got it here. I'll do it. Stuffy. Didn't mean to pick this one up. This belongs to Sarah's brother. I mean, I'll get I'll get a HDMI port done in what 15, 20 minutes. Like, it's not gonna it's not gonna be much to do a HDMI port. So Sarah's brother dropped this off after I'd organised tonight's jobs, uh, the jobs I planned on doing on stream. Um, and she, she must have put it on top of the pile. That's why it's not in the system, because it's not booked in. <laughs> so it's just literally not booked in at all, that's why it's not on the system. That's me off to bed. No worries, Devin. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. But it's meant to be customers first. And plus, I'm not charging him. I felt bad for saying I was going to charge him because he's Sarah's family. I said, get the other one. Like you said, customers come first. I agree, but it's here now. It, it's, it's not going to take me that long to do. Ronnie, how's it going, mate? Damon, how's it going? So server pays a full bill later. <laughs> Depends if I can wake her up. You're not a charity. No, I agree, but it is family. I mean, I wouldn't charge my own... Well, I don't know, I don't know actually. It depends on the job. I mean, he's paying for the port. No matter what, he's paying for the port. I'm not going to waste money on it. Like the port cost me money. That's literally the end of. Like, port cost me money. He's paying for the port. But I'm not going to lose money. Cover the IPA bottle. It vaporizes quickly. Actually, I don't have a problem with that. To be honest. What the problem with your Xbox is? Um, this is just a HDMI port by the look of it. Um, it belongs to Sarah's brother, my partner's brother. I'll say Sarah as if everyone knows her, but not everyone knows who she is. Unless it's Sarah sorting the bill. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, he's paying for the port no matter what. That's. That's a given. 
Ugh, and it's filthy. You prick. Wow, that's dusty as hell. What the fuck? No, but I'm not. I'm not about to lose money. Like so, he's paying for the port. Wow, that is filthy. Oh, come on, you prick! Now you're paying. Now I'm charging. Sounds like someone's going to talk about cleaning the console. Ha! <laughs> I reckon she's done that deliberately, mate. I reckon she's. I reckon she's put that on top of the pile deliberately, because she knows how I do it when I'm live streaming. She knows I'll pile them all up, and I'll be like, right, I'll work on that first, then I'll work on this, then I'll work on this, then I'll work on this. She knows. She ain't stupid. <laughs> she knows full well that I pile them up just before I live stream. I'm good, thanks, Scoot. How are you, mate? I have realised something, Scoot. The live Discord stream isn't going to work because he's going to. He's going for me to be able to hear it. I haven't got headphones, so for me to be able to hear it, I'm going to have to play it through the speakers. So I'll have to do that another day. Crafty Sarah. Yeah, she knows, mate. She knows how I do it. This is really, really dusty. Look, that's just ridiculously dusty. Service your console, people, please. If you don't, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> tell her when it's done that it's a no fix. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him that I couldn't fix it. <laughs> Right, I've got the title for a video. I got tricked into fixing this console. Lovely. You're getting the cleaning bill. Oh, well, the HDMI port is definitely damaged. So, before I take the heatsink off, I'm going to remove the port. So, I'm going to go full whack, 480 degrees Celsius. Is pretty insane for used consoles. Um, send me a DM, mate. I can sell you a cheap Xbox One S. The One S is I've got right now. I'm just trying to get rid of. Just want to get rid of them. Any explanation what caused this? Yeah, very inconsiderate and careless children. I think it was actually rage quit. Right, that just dropped out. Ding. Say bye bye, Mr. Port. I'm gonna starfish and relax. Nice. Very good, very nice. If you unplug it, the system lags on boot up. That's a bit strange. It shouldn't.
20 pound um yeah for 20 quid yeah definitely i bought a ps4 the other day for 20 quid all in bits but that's going to be an interesting video literally it's been stripped and apparently it's got a blue light of death Right. Well, trust me to not turn my soldering iron on. Damn it. Damn you, soldering iron. Right. Okie dokie. And get myself a nice big fat tip. Oh, yeah. No missing pads. Yeah, that's because I removed it, mate. It wasn't removed by an amateur. Thank you, soldering iron, for finally waking up. Soldering error. No. There is not a soldering error. Stop it. Stop it. What? It's saying there's an error on the soldering iron. What's next? Shut up, soldering iron. <laughs> Could be this tip. Right. Right. Let's get some wick. Let's see how good this tip is at wicking the ground legs, shall we? Oh, you gotta love it. You've got to love that tip. Ellis, how's it going, mate? Welcome, buddy. Oh yeah, that tip is just insanely good, look at that, there's not many tips that can do that. Like that quick as well. These are cheap AliExpress T12 tips mate. Well, actually, no, I bought these ones from Amazon, but they're the cheap T12 tips, the copies. Ow. Fucking hot, I know that much. No, I mean, I don't mean irons, I mean specific tips. But these are T12 tips. Like, these are not expensive tips. Um, I'll get the tip number in a minute, mate. Do 
do it again and didn't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. You're hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the tip number in a minute. Bear with me. That is what she said indeed. Damn it. I'll just hit everywhere except for the ball with that OPA. Yeah, the TS100, when you put custom firmware on, you're great. It's a great little iron. Absolutely recommend it. It's supposed to be fixed, but still having problems. Yeah, that's BT for you, mate. They're, they're absolutely shit, to be honest. I did miss a little bit. We do not want to know where you got your tip from. <laughs> um, yeah, so the TS100, you can install a custom firmware on it. Um, it's uh, open source firmware, so you can modify it. Come on, tip. I've just been bigging you up. It's just too big to get that little bit of solder. Yeah, I think, I think the tip, oh, now that's got it. Yeah, there you go. Cool. That will do. Right. Un moment, senor. Let's grab a replacement port. Wait, where's my HDMI ports for the One S? Oh, we're gonna have one of them days, ain't we? One minute.
Right. I'm not hunting for corks. I'm not hunting for ports. Yeah, have a good night, Michael. Thank you, mate. Good night, Chris. I'm not hunting for ports. I'm going to take one from a donor board. It's family anyway. He's not paying for the repair, so fuck it. I shall just take one from a donor board. And if you don't like it, you can find a professional. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. No, he's an adult, but I think the kid's done this. I think it's his kid's console. Um, like it's his son's console, I think. I do tin the pads, by the way, to answer that question. Sorry, I did see. I, I was just concentrating on removing a port. Professional within a oscilloscope. Well, I've got one. Just don't know how to use it. <laughs> I had one gifted to me by an XBT engineer, and I've never used it because I haven't got a clue how to. No worries, Jace. No, Dream, I've done it. I've done it this way all my life, mate. Well, since I've been working on them. Never had a problem. Pi 4 Retro Pi. Probably find a way to break that as well, mate. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, bloody boo. That sucks, mate. It's in the passage of reassurance. Well, sort of, yeah. I mean, to be fair, look, these, these Xbox ports, they're so easy to solder on. Small hole on the surface. No, there's no hole on this one. No hole on this one.
What was the statement, mate? Because you, you can just group up the solder like that and then just wick away the excess. About tinning. Well, everyone's got their own method. I will do it the way I trust. One could also say that I shouldn't be using a tip bigger than six pins. Bridging is cause the cause the pins are off the pads. They're not off the pads. Bridging is cause because I'm using a tip that's six times the size of one pin, including the space in between. Because I'm too lazy to change my tip. Once my tip is in there, I am using it. Because I can. Just because I can. There are a couple which are not soldered, but bear in mind. Ah, that trace is damaged. So he did take a trace. <coughs> yeah, have a, <coughs> have a good night, uh, Flosky. Just put the tip in. Yep. Oh, hang on. Yeah, those pins are actually out of line. Those two pins are actually out of line. The ground is fine. Yeah, I'm ignoring it. It's connected anyway, it's just um, lifted up. But the way I took that port off, there was no way that happened during removal. Why do I get a feeling this HDMI port actually damaged? I didn't even check it. I think this port's damaged. Lekking gas ball wanker wanting money. What's new, mate? Yeah, just HDMI on this one, Dan.
I should probably change my tip. This tip that I'm using is far too big, to be fair. By the way, the pins are loose because I haven't sold with the ground legs. Damn it, that fucking pin. Let me check inside this port, hang on. No, the port's fine. It fucking scares me. Ha! <laughs> you love it. You love it, and you know it. I sold her on you, bastard. Sold her on you, bastard. That pin hates you. That pin does hate me, mate. It's just that one pin, though. I'll change my tip in a sec so I can clean it up. I think I'm just going to solder the ground legs before I do. I will tidy that pin up. It's just that one pin seems a little bit misshaped. Like that one pin, when it's straight, it isn't lining up with the rest of them. That's why that one pin's causing a problem. Yeah, that is a loose ground pad there, but... Meh. Yeah. The rest of those are absolutely solid. And perfect. Hello from Sutton Coalfield. Welcome, mate. The rest of the pins are fine. Hey, we've got some renewals. Hi fives. Don't have the room for them, mate. Alan and Roy. Roy Hodge became a member. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna do these ground legs and then I'll uh I'll sort out the um the pin afterwards well, no you don't have to tin you don't have to leave the pads untinned it's definitely not true I tin the pads because then I know when I tin the legs afterwards when I solder the legs on afterwards the solder is going to transfer all right Make sure that's on there nice. Ow. It's hot though.
Why didn't we have Flux in the 80s? Um, there was, wasn't there? I'm sure there was. They would never have been able to solder anything if they didn't have Flux in the 80s. Let's just replace the flux and I'll uh, I'll put some more solder on them legs. Well, I'll clean the solder up more, more like. Just wanted to make sure it went all the way through. Oh, the liquid stuff. Well, I got you. I got you. I need you, you, you. I need you. Same issue, but now short on P13. M92 and USB looks good. Any other ideas? Um, normally, it's either going to be M92 T36. Whether or not it shows a short, it could still be bad. Um, the port, whether or not it looks good. The dock or P13 USB or maybe one of the filters on P13. What's going on with that solder joint? Stop it. Sorry, I just really wasn't happy with that solder joint. <laughs> Liquid flux ruins my bottoms. <laughs> oh dear. White background with a bunch of horizontal lines. Um, very possibly a bad LCD connector, mate. Or a bad LCD driver. I'm not a fan of liquid flux. Like, actual liquid flux, I'm not a fan of it. Wow, there was some real crap around the side of that port, wasn't that? Jesus, that really does melt quick. Did you see how, how quick that transferred heat to the entire of the port? Well, that's just unbelievable. There really was some shit around that port, though. Wait, what? Did that come off my desk? I think it might have done. I only had rosin core. Oh, see, so I'm not sure about that. I haven't really researched it too much. I'm cleaning inside the port, by the way. Um, and then now I know I've got enough solder on the ground legs. Look at those joints. Oh, they just look beautiful. They just look absolutely beautiful. Aren't they just some of the prettiest solder joints you've ever seen on those ground legs? Like, come on. Give me some credit. Give me some credit. Those solder joints are absolutely gorgeous. And um, the 
the lettering's rubbed off on my tip, by the way. S4 or G4 or something like that, I think. I don't know. It's a really big bevel tipper, right? That's all I know. Sorry. Um... <laughs> it's just a really big bevel tip. Sorry. It's rubbed off, so I can't really give you much info on it. No, T12C4. T12C4. Because the one I'm about to use now is the same tip, but smaller. It's uh, C1. And it's a really small one. No, T12, C4. So the iron tips that I use are T12 tips. I don't use official hackle tips. What do you mean, illusions? So yeah, I don't use official hacko tips. I think they're a waste of money. But when these tips work absolutely fine, what is the point? Oi, solder bridge. But what is the point in spending 40 quid on tip when I can spend 20 quid on 10? I was betting that one's come loose again now. No, it's not. Um, C4. C4, mate. C12, C4. Oh, thanks, Illusions. They work. Yeah, exactly. I've got a bridge on this. Just there. I can see it from here, but you can't. No, you can't. No, I've pulled it to the front. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Trying to think he puts those on there in per on purpose so he can use the iron. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of pins out of line, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. If it's soldered, it's going to work. <clears throat> this is his glory moment. Well, 
when I get to show off solder joints like those ground legs when I get to show off and say look at those ground legs aren't they pretty then I'm allowed to gloat alright I've actually spent way more time on this making it look good than I, than I should have done. But I didn't need to make it look good. But I do take pride in my work. But no matter what it is, whether this is for family, whether it's for friends, whether it's for customers, business customers, or even just for fun. Because yes, I do still practice every now and again. Um, it doesn't matter who it's for, I still take pride in my work, and they look pretty good to me. But I'm not, I'm not going to complain at those joints. But it looks absolutely solid. Phil's getting his hopes up. Oh, mate, Sarah's been asleep way before I started this way before but no no matter what it is it doesn't matter what it, what you do just take pride in it just be, take pride in it know you've done a good job and that's it like it, it's just one of them things right it be time to remove the heat sink clamp. I don't know where my X clamp tool's gone. <laughs> no, like a morning session. Yeah, you, you try having a kid that sleeps in, in the next bed to you because the house is too small. And then try and get a morning session. I have just. I've just caught that, you bastard. That's because I was reading chat, that is. I just slipped then. Shouldn't have slipped. I should have had my finger there, really. Get a smaller kid. <laughs> Oh, it's not your fault, mate. No worries, Taylor. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. It's not your fault. Wow, that's a lot of dust. Extra clamp tool. I have actually got one. I just don't know where it is. That is a lot of dust. Like, how that is working, I don't know. I'm going to have to check that over, though, because... Yeah. I did just catch that. Right. By the way, if, if my iron never did pack up, I have actually got a TS-100. As a backup. You scruffy twat, scruffy twat. Like it or lump it, dickhead. Sorry, illusions. Couldn't resist, mate. Well, I could, but I didn't want to. Love my TS. Yeah, mate, the TS is a good iron. I used to have one. Just 
giving these well giving the fan a dust out I'm not going to go too deep into it but yeah right, I need a fresh box of uh, cotton swabs Can you fix an Xbox original the disc ain't spinning? What Xbox OG or Xbox One original? Please define, good sir. Please define what you mean. Well, no, don't fucking spin, dickhead. Well, no. Not for you, no. <laughs> Cheers, Justin. How come you've come to Common Sense to use iFixit tools and Joe use that cheap looking... How come you have Common Sense to use iFixit tools and Joe use that cheap looking driver bit and set? Well, mine has to be quality tools. I mean, I've got cheap set screwdriver sets. Um, Joe is learning. Um, I mean, personally, I used to have a cheap set. Like I used to have really cheap tools myself. It comes down to a lot of things, really, like budget for a start. I mean, Joey doesn't earn a living from it, whereas I do. So, I mean, the tools that I buy, I, I claim it back on tax anyway. So, it comes out of expenses. I'll put it down as an expense. So, if I buy an iFixit kit, I'll put it down as an expense, whereas Joey don't. Joey can't. So, yeah, there is that. And then Joey hasn't been doing it long as well. I've built these tools up over time. Like, I never... I've actually been... <clears throat> I've actually been incredibly fortunate, actually, to be honest. Um, I mean, I've had... My microscope, apart from the camera, the microscope got donated. The arm I bought myself, but the microscope head got donated. Um, the hack hole got donated. So I got incredibly fortunate that I got a good community behind me early on. So Joey's just upgrading as he goes along really, which is exactly what I did for a lot of my stuff. There was a point where I was using a 3-in-1 soldering iron. Uh, soldering iron slash hot air station. On, a, on YouTube as well, on videos. But when I wasn't earning anything from it. But because I do it for a living, I'll claim it back on expenses anyway. So it just makes sense for me to... to buy good tools. Because the more good tools I buy, the less tax I have to pay. I have to pay. And the less tax I have to pay, the more money I make. Well, not technically, because I'm spending it, but <laughs> I'm spending it on stuff that I need, so. I sent for these bollocks and large attitude. Well, the bollocks have still not turned up, mate. That's why I talk like this. All right, should we, should we send it back with our thermal paste? Does that sound good to you guys? Do you see what I see? Oh, 
I better just inspect this quickly. Yeah, it's a light scratch on the. Uh, it's a light scratch on the surface. It's no big deal. Just a light scratch on the surface. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Jobs are good, and I'm happy. Cost of living, yep. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed, mate. I'm going to cut down on the amount of thermal paste we use because cost of living's gone up. <laughs> These heat sinks took a battering in the past. It's a little bit bent. And that, my friends. Well, you say you're my friends, but I don't believe you. But that is nicely lined up. And I will take it. I will take it. Soul Trader, uh, Tim. Soul Trader. You want to see his egg sandwich, he's pure shite. <laughs> it's pointless registering a limited company. Uh, about three years, Kyle. Uh, no, more than that. I've been on YouTube three years, so about four years now. Unsubbing due to emotional damage. Oh well, shit happens mate, you'll get over it, don't worry. If I send you my number, would you call me as a friend? I don't actually give my numbers out, my number out anymore mate. I don't give my number to anyone anymore. Not even customers. Literally my phone now is literally for family only. That's the only people that get it. Family only, I am afraid. Where's this water damage one? Uh, coming up, mate. Coming up. Coming up. I picked this one up by mistake, so... Pays off dividends. That's too complicated for me. I've heard it works out cheaper on tax, but it's too complicated for me. Yeah, a lot of prank calls, mate. Not just prank calls. Calls off... Calls off viewers just wanting to say hi. But the only problem is, when I was getting calls, it was either... I was halfway through a job... Or... It was five in the morning. Test it before you close it. I will be. I'm just I'm just securing a few things in. Yeah, so it was There was a lot of people just saying I suppose it's a lot easier if you don't have an accountant. Yeah, exactly mate, and I ain't got an accountant, so um yeah. Now um phone calls look, I'd love to sit there and just talk all day. I would. Everyone knows I talk. Everyone knows I like to talk, but the problem is, and what a, pe a lot of people don't realise is that I've still got work to do. I've still got, um, I've still got work to do. I've still got a family to look after. I've still got YouTube videos to make. It's just one of them things. And the problem is, 
a lot of people that was calling me from different countries. So when it was 10 o'clock in the morning for them, it was 5 o'clock in the morning for me. And I was just dropping off to sleep or something. I'm limited in my job to 80% cash. Well, I mean, most of my jobs are business to business, so everything goes through. But, yeah. Um, cause a lot of my jobs, like, I don't really get that many of my own customers. Because I don't advertise. I don't need to. I like... I like freedom. I like to be able to do what I want. And... The good thing about having regular work coming from businesses is I get to have that freedom. I wouldn't say popular, mate. Um, I wouldn't say popular, but it only takes a few people from different countries to want to talk to you. And I get it, people watch the videos, people respect me and stuff like that, and they want to say hi. I get that, I do, but you just don't get time for it, especially when you've got other things to do. And I'm not famous, I'm not special, I'm not anything like that. I, I get people come up in the street sometimes and they'll, try, and they'll say hi, I'll say try, and they'll say hi to me, and I'll say hi back and I'll sit there and talk to them. But if I'm, if I'm, if I'm working, or if I'm trying to sleep, or I'm trying to spend time with the kids, I don't want to be disturbed. Only 24 hours in a day, exactly mate, and you've got to use as much of that as you can to pay bills. You've got to use as much of that as you can to pay bills, and the rest of the time is used to cherish with the family. I'm a very family oriented person. Look. I would happily sit there and spend all day long with the kids, if I could. All day long if I could, but I can't. Where are you from? Uh, West Midlands, mate. Just outside Wolverhampton in the UK. But yeah, that's why I've had to change my number and not give it out anymore even for customers customers have to email me it sucks but it's just one of them things right let's give this a test shall we capture card Turn around. Do you see what I see? Well, because this is... They called it more came. Huh? Where is my display? Can't you have two phones, one for the love and one for the club? No. The, here's the thing, mate. It's the disturbances, that's the issue. Why well, I mean I'll get um, signal? Hang on, let's clean the cable and the port. So I think this is my knackered cable. The one that's in the capture card, because I haven't changed it yet. No? You not work, eh? You not work, eh? Might have taken out the retimer. If he's taken out the retimer, he's definitely paying. Because I'll sell them on eBay. It might have taken out the retimer.
No signal. Right. Let me just make sure it's on the right source. Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah, it can take the V-timer out, yeah. Yeah, I well, know, Charles, yeah. It's always best to test it first. I'll switch camera if it turns on. Never mind, that was me. Pay for what you get. <laughs> was that me? Has this just died? No. Power supply went into protection mode though for some weird reason. I could try a hard drive. It could be the hard drive. Let's just have a look at um, pin 18 and 19 on the port. Let's just see what kind of power I get. So let's just turn that off a second. I'll turn it back on with the There you go. Um right, so I'll turn it back on. Right. What's that shit all over there now? How's that ended up with crap on it? That must have been while I was brushing the board down. A bit of crap's ended up on it, and now it looks fucking ugly. Oh well, don't care. Right, what voltage do I get on pin 19? 5 volts on pin 19. And 5 volts on pin 18. It's not the ESD. It's a good point. I could try the HDMI cable from the microscope. Let's have a look, just in case it's trolling me. Uh, it doesn't appear to be. Look, hey, not really, Matt. I've got, I've got ESD ICs. No, nope. it's not picking up on the thing either. I think it's taking out the retimer. Uh, Alright, what's going on? Why is my 
Okay, we're not going back in. There you go. Um, I'll double check them pins. And then I'll just change the retimer. Not listed other faults. No, this belongs to family, mate. Right, okay. Let me just have a look at these pins. Quick time. That one is ground... And I was aware that it was loose. But yeah, they seem fine. Let's just check in continuity mode. Let's just make sure. Hang on. Let's go on with that trace there. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there's no reason why that port shouldn't be working. I'll change the HDMI port. Um, how's do my encoder okay no reason at all why that shouldn't be working those pins are absolutely fine traces are fine there's no shorts readings on differential pairs I'll just change it anyway mate it's quicker much quicker to just change the retimer I've got over a hundred in stock. Don't need to take it out the um, case to change the retimer. Check the hard drive first. Nah, fuck it. No, it wouldn't turn on wild Pokemon if that was the case. It's a surface scratch anyway. But it wouldn't turn on at all. Uh, if, if that scratch did anything at all, it wouldn't turn on. Where would I put my flux? Oh, there it is. Got to love family repairs. Ha! <laughs> yeah, let's not make fun of lesbians, guys. Come on. Keep it friendly.
Damn you, mofo. By the way, it is absolutely fine to change the HDMI encoder inside the case. You're not going to damage anything at all if you're accurate. Now jump, you bastard. Yes, Boot is definitely the king of cock. So you make it look way too easy. <laughs> it is easy. All it takes is practice, mate. But yeah, if I'm sitting here working on my own and someone sends an Xbox One S to me for a retimer, if I've confirmed it's a retimer, I'm not taking it out of the case to change a retimer. Hell no. It looks off centre. It's lined up, it's fine. It's making a contact on all pins. That much I will guarantee. Yep. It's making a contact. Not going to put extra heat into the chip just to realign it by less than a millimetre, to be fair. It, it's just not worth risking extra stress to the chip. But yeah, it is absolutely fine to change that inside the case. It's not going to damage anything. As long as you're accurate, and bear in mind I use an uh, angled nozzle, so I'm literally like right above the chip. So, so I'm directing the heat directly to the chip and not anywhere else. So if you're accurate, you're fine. Fan spin. There you go. So, yeah, that wouldn't get a fan spin if I'd um, damaged anything there. Right, let's turn the TV on. Hope it works. Yeah, buddy. Winner, winner. Sinker controller. Ding. And look at that, 4K. You <laughs> watch it not work in 4K. You watch it be a cunt. Oh, don't be a dick. Don't not work in 4K now. Come on. Oh. Wow, what's going on with 4K?
Huh. What's going on in 4K? Update. Could be software glitch. It's, re it's recognising 4K. I'll have to try it on the TV downstairs, I think. Yeah, it's not working in 4K. What's going on with it? Why? It says it supports it. Dodgy cable could very well be. Uh, let's try a different cable and on. Does the 158 support 4K? Yes. In fact, the 158 is a newer version to the 159. And it is backwards, it is uh, backwards compatible with the 1S. Cable. Here's the cable. Cable stopping 4K. All right, well, that's working in 4K. Happy days. I was just about to say, there's no reason why you shouldn't work in 4K. But, yeah. Yeah, dodgy cables. I need some new cables. I'll buy some. I've actually got some downstairs anyway. There you go. Job done. Job done. Fucking cable. Stupid cable. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, um I've got some I've got I've got some um brand new Xbox Series X cables downstairs. I'll use them. So the good thing about having this um this connector socket here with the HDMI cables on is I only need to replace like short cables. That's all I need to replace, like half a meter cables. So it makes it a lot cheaper when they do break. But that's why I've installed this here. Like yes, it costs a little bit more short term, but I mean I have to replace cables on the monthly. I'm more regular than a woman in a prime when it comes to replacing cables. But yeah, I will take it. Happy days. <laughs> Cheers, Charles. What's next? Um, I think a liquid damaged 1X. And then I've got to get these two MacBooks sorted as well. It's going to be uh, a screen change and uh, a screen replacement and just put them one back together. <laughs> More periods than an under Nakasak. Jesus. <laughs> I wonder why she weren't sitting flush. It's because the damn disk drive wasn't. I'd say I'll put this back together tomorrow, but I may as well do it now.
Always do these in that order, by the way. That one first, then that one. Because otherwise, that one gets trapped. And then you can do them in whatever order you want after that. But that middle one's a fucker for getting trapped. Put it back together and blow it up. Well, it's not because I'm not sending it back on again. It worked the last time I tested it. That's all he needs to know. Was it working? Well, it was. I don't know if it is now. But yeah, them screws. That one there is a pain in the arse. So I always put that screw in and then that screw, and then I'll just do them whatever way I fancy. After that, it's no big deal. After that, just them first two screws in that specific order. Sounds like those soldiers seen. <laughs> well, he's not paying for it, so I don't care. Well, actually, he is. I'm, I'm, he's covering the cost of the chip. Uh, he's covering the cost of the chip from my eBay stock, not from my own stock. <laughs> he's covering the cost of the chip from my eBay stock, not my own. Because my stock are for my paying customers. Oh, you mofo. Now I've got to take that back off again. Yeah, I think this has definitely been dropped because it's all scuffed here. Like, it's, it's, rough. it's as rough as Andrew Henderson's wife. Oh, girlfriend. Just don't tell her I said that, Andrew. There you go. It's realignment and done. Happy days. Right. Yeah, that, that wasn't that bad. I mean, HDMI port. He took out the V-timer with it. It happens. Um, damn, that's rough. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. Good to set your prices high to stop piss taking. I agree, G Force. I had a pubic hair that was a fucker for getting trapped. Nice. Test it again. Nope, it's done. Job is done. I am done. That is it. On to the next one. I'll be back in a minute. What did I miss? Um, you missed me. Very highly praising you, mate. Very highly praising you. <laughs> Don't forget to tell Sarah it's an old fix. Yeah, I will. Right, I'll be back.
Right. Hello. This has to be one of the cleanest Xboxes I've seen in a while. It has to be one of the cleanest Xboxes I've seen in a while. But it is liquid damaged. Cheers, Jess. Yeah, hopefully, John. <laughs> All right. So this one, unlike the last one, is liquid damaged. According to the ticket. I'm going to confirm that. But placing bets on if it's pissed or milk damage. <laughs> All right. Uh... Okay. Uh, um, well, I can show. No, I can't. No, I can't because the ticket number is searchable. So no, I can't. I can't show it. But it is. It is booked in as liquid damaged. So let's see what we can do with it. Let's see what's going on with it first of all. Let's get rid of the controller. We don't need that for testing. Completely dead. Completely dead. All right. So yeah, apparently this is liquid damage. It's completely dead. Stop doing that autofocus. Stop it. Right. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? It's already been opened. Uh, if your iron's at 460, yeah, it sounds like your iron's on the way out, mate. <laughs> Shut up, auto focus. I was going to say that. But externally, this is pretty well looked after. Apart from the fact that someone's damaged this. Right, I am actually going to get this bit on film. Like, there's, there is a fair bit of damage to the front of this. Um, like in terms of the Primarchs. And I'm not referring to the clothing company. But yeah. The base has obviously been pried open before with a screwdriver. That's why I always use a flat object because otherwise it damages them like this one has. Get out! Thank you. Okay, yeah. We have some screws loose, okay. That is absolutely fine. Makes my job a little bit easier. Having loose screws. So it looks like someone's just thrown it back together to be honest.
bit of a stripped screw. Uh, water damage, mate. Well, liquid damage. I shouldn't really say water damage because we don't know what kind of liquid it is. There we go. On to the tights. Very true, Michael. Very true. I do always have a screw loose. By the way, ladies and gents, if you enjoy these streams, there's a nice little button there called the thumbs up button. Do me a favour and test it. I need to make sure it's working. And also, for everyone that don't do it, I'm going to do this. Ah. That was a squeaky bum fart. Dusty inside. Crash and burn. Hello. Good job. Good job helping the booty yesterday with the HDMI voltages. All good, mate. No worries. I tested mine on this earlier, and I got... Uh, not on this one, on the one I've just worked on. And I got 5 volts on mine. So it was very strange that we only got 3.2 volts. But he got there in the end. He got it working. That was the main thing. Shat on his mic. Yep. Yeah, the main thing was he got it working. That was all him, though. That wasn't me. That was just, that was all him. <laughs> Bubble and squeak. Yeah, very strange how it worked. It might have been because he was in low res, I don't know. But then again, no, because it was, it was like it afterwards as well. But I was getting 5 volts in 1080p earlier on the last one I worked on. First thinking, then shit, what's this channel coming to? <laughs> well, I thought the singing was shit, so... Might as well live up to it a little bit. That's a little bit sticky. is a little bit sticky let's get shot of these oh let's test this power supply first just make sure we've got 12 volts coming into the power supply or coming out of the power supply and into the board We do, 12.01 volts. Southbridge has taken a hit, mate, yeah. So we probably haven't got a short on 12 volt. We've probably got a bad Southbridge. Looks like it's all around here that's taken a hit. So it might not be viable to do this. We have 600 ohms on the 12 volt rail. That's not good. 600 ohms isn't good. We're going to take a look, but I'm probably, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to spend that much time on this one. Because it looks like it's gone everywhere. It looks like coffee. Um, but it looks like he's gone all over the place, to be honest. It's a FET. What, 600 ohms, you think? I don't. It is sticky in this area, but the, the safe bridge has taken a hit. We'll see, we'll see. Thank you, Dustin, mate. I appreciate that, buddy.
Oh, wow. It's hit the APU. Yeah, I'm not going to be spending that much damn time on this one. No. It hit the APU and ram. It's probably not going to be viable. These are cheap enough to buy now. It's gone smack bang all over the APU. I do genuinely think this one is going to be not viable to do, unfortunately. Um, I'll check a few things, but safe bridge, APU, it's hit a lot of it, and yeah, I can ultrasonic it tomorrow. Can't do it tonight, my ultrasonic isn't even, isn't even in the workshop. This would be a good excuse to bring it in. Let's just test a few voltage rails, shall we? Um, so if I if I go into diode mode, let's have a look at the shut up, stop beeping. Right, diode mode reading on 12 volt is high. Oh damn it, I'm, in, I'm using the wrong probe here. That might be why it's high. No point forty four. that's a normal reading. Uh, yeah, so this is probably going to have a missing 5 volt rail. Five volt is zero point four. That's actually a good reading. Three point three volt is a good reading. One P one standby zero point thirteen. That is acceptable. 1.8 volts short. 1p8 short to ground. Dead short. That's gone. That's fucked. I'm not even working on it. It is dead short to ground. Continuity mode. Keep her on. So, 3.3 volt standby, no beep. 5 volt, no beep. 12 volt, no beep. 1.1 volt, no beep. 1.8 volt, dead short to ground, 1.2 ohms. 1.2 ohms on the 1.8 volt standby rail. Why is it dead short to ground? Explain, Dick Show. Well, I don't know. It's short. I'm not going to bother finding out because it's a waste of time. Probably the South Bridge, to be honest. Um, no, on a serious note, it's probably the South Bridge. Let's. Uh, just for entertainment purposes, let's give it one volt on the um, what do you call it? Let's give it one volt on the one point eight volt line. Eight hundred milliamps. Of current draw, 
at one volt. Will the APU be safe or could it, could it be a goner? Um, I'm not sure. Use the heat thing, you see what gets hot. I will do in a sec, I'm just using the feeler test first, mate. Uh, I'm not feeling anything. Gotta love all these mates on chat. <laughs> Nothing's getting hot. That's throw 25 volts into it. No, I can't. It's a customer's, mate. I can't do that. Uh, yeah. Well, this is a 1.8 volt line. I know it's not short to anything else, so I can go a bit higher. I'm going to go 1.4. That's drawing 1 amp. At 1.4 volts, that's drawing an amp. So what are we fixing today? And this is a liquid damaged Xbox One S. It looks like it's got a shorty 1V8 line. Well, it has got a shorty 1V8 line. Um, but nothing gets hot. Step it up then. We can go to 1.8. It's designed to take 1.8 volts on standby. We're drawing 1.3 amps now. At 1.7 volts. Starting to warm up in the RAM area. I'm starting to feel a little bit of warmth around the RAM. But not by much. Like it's really not by much. Yeah. It's the RAM, guys. It's the RAM. Thank me later. <laughs> I'm not sitting here replacing RAM. Fuck that shit. Hello, hotspot. Could be the APU. Definitely warm in that area. I think, uh, actually, no, it's warm in the center. These traces, this area here, these traces are getting warm. I think it's the APU. I think it's killed the APU. Clean off. Look, this area, especially on the back, like here, is getting warm. Look, I can feel it more on the back, just there. No, I think I might, that might be RAM.
But I'm not sitting here replacing RAM. It's not viable to do. Um, yeah, just around here. Just around here is uh, it's getting warm. I'm going to BR this. I'm going to maybe a bad cap. No, it's getting warm in too much of a gen too much of a wider area. Look, there's a. It seems like this this area here sort of thing. So it's like it's it's too, the area is too wide for it to be a single cap. If it was a single cap, I'd see a really really small heat spot. Um, I'm not going to waste my time on it. I'm going to be of it beyond economical repair. That means um, it's just not viable to do when we've got a short on the 1.8 volt line, uh, especially when we've got heat around this area here. It's either the safe bridge or the RAM or the APU, one of the two. And uh, I'm not going to waste any time. It's pointless. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of your lot's time. Might as well just move on to something else and. Uh, yeah, a bit of two ram on the left. It'll probably be these two, mate. You're probably right. Or them two. Well, it, it'll be one of these two groups here. Um, but I'm not going to sit here wasting time replacing ram. The only problem is as well. This has got to go back to another country as well. Where's it going to? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, manage repair order. Belgium. This has been sent from Belgium. It's not going to be viable. So I'm going to charge him 60 quid just for the RAM. And that's if it is the RAM. Um, NWI not worth it yet. Yeah, that's if it even is the RAM. I could replace that RAM there and be no joy. Xbox One X, no display, replace HDMI, still nothing, I replace VTimer IC and still nothing. HDMI filters all measure good, what could it be? What is your resistance on C50? Send it to me, we'll sort it. It's just not viable, mate. The customer's not going to pay for it. Like, bear in mind, it's going to cost them 20-odd 20 odd, 20 odd pounds just to send it back. Look, it's, it's just not worthy. Well, I'll speak to the customer in the morning. I'll email the customer. I'm not putting it back together yet. I'll do it in the morning. This is one that I haven't got to rush to put back together because even if I book a collection, it's not going to get collected till the day after tomorrow because it's an international shipment. So I'll book that. In. I'll contact the customer. I haven't really been that tempted. <laughs> I'll contact the customer. I can offer them a board cheaper than that. No, like if they really, if they really want a working console. I can offer them a board cheaper than that. To be honest, I'd rather sell them a board. It is the morning. Ha! <laughs> true. Very true. But no, that's just not viable. I'm sorry. I would love to sit there and waste time doing it, but I haven't got the time for it, to be honest with you. I haven't got the time to waste. I do want to finish at some point today What's next? MacBook. I think... I 
think this is one I've just got to put the base back on. Um, I'll replace the battery on it earlier on this afternoon. Uh... No, it's not. This one, this one I've deemed as beyond economical. Um... <clears throat> yeah, this one's one that I've just got to put the screws back in the base. Um, I've deemed it as an uneconomical repair because it needs a battery. Um, yeah, so the battery comes up as service recommended. Um, if you take a look at system report, power. Comes up service recommended. Um, what's on the back of the screen? What well, on this? Uh, a load of screws stuck to it. <laughs> yeah, so it needs a battery, which a customer would have had to pay 90 quid for. All the business would have had to pay 90 quid for. And then, on top of that, it needs a camera, but it's going to be the flex cable behind the screen, and I can't change them. So I'm deeming it as beyond economical. Uh, I'm not obviously not charging the customer, but I'm just not replacing it. It's not it's just not viable to replace the um, screen and battery in this. Um, customers looking at it around about a three hundred and fifty pound job, and yeah, it's just one of them things. Uh, customers decided that it's not viable. I've decided it's not viable. So I'm going to send it back to him. He's going to strip it down for parts. I'm gutted as well because I've reinstalled the operating system on it and I can't charge him for it. But it is what it is. It's going back as uneconomical. Oh, damn it. I needed the fucking serial number. <laughs> oh, I was such an idiot. No! Right. Give me the diagnostic so I can get my serial number up. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated, Mr. Console. Uh, Mr. Laptop, rather. Thank you. Right, FEFYT34. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like it's, it's just one of them with this. It's just not viable because it needs a screen and a battery. And if it needs just a screen, fine. If it needs just a battery, fine. If it needs both, yeah, you're, t you're talking too much money. It's just too much money. It sucks, but sometimes you just have to know when to say no. And this, unfortunately, is one of those times. I've got to find out which base it is now because I've mixed them all up while I was out while I was messing with them all, doing my uh, diags and stuff. Got it. There it is. Just make sure. Uh, F B F Y T thirty four double H. Yep, that's the one. Overpriced Apple for you, indeed. Indeed. So I'd already diagnosed it, look, as uh, A key, battery, and then I wrote camera afterwards because I noticed after I'd reinstalled the software. Because it come up working on, it come up no issues found on diagnostics, but then as soon as I turned it on, I've loaded up the camera like I do on all of them just to give it a full test and no dice. So I've opened it up, I've made sure that this only had one screw in, and that's where that is. Um, so someone had already been inside and messed with it. 
Um, so I've yeah, I've opened it up. I've had a look at the flex cables, made sure they're all connected fine, and all of that yada 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 stuff. And all of that was fine. So the that only lived one le left one thing, the screen. So I tried a new screen in it, and it worked. Like the camera works. So I know it's nothing to do with the board. It's absolutely nothing to do with the board, unfortunately, which means it needs too much. I'd be happy to do it, don't get me wrong. But the customer won't pay for it. Too costly. It is. Um, the customer will be able to resell this for four hundred quid, and if they've got to pay me, what three hundred and fifty quid, they're not making anything. They're better off just whacking it on eBay. Um, at that point, you're just better off chucking it on eBay, and they'll probably get what hundred and fifty quid on eBay for it. I'd buy it for hundred and fifty quid. I should actually, you know what, I should phone him in the morning before these get collected, shouldn't I, and just offer to buy it. I should just offer offer him 150 quid and just say, like, right, I'll send you the SSD back. Actually, I'd offer him 100 if the SSD weren't there. They're not the right screws. I'd, I'd probably offer him £100. You know why? Because if I was to offer him a hundred pound for it, I've got batteries lying around. I've got screens lying around. Like I would very easily be able to fix it. But like I said, I have actually confirmed it working with another screen. What year is it? 2017. Damn it. But you know what I'd do though? I would offer 100 quid for it. I'd take the screen out, I'd put a new screen out, I'd put a new screen in it. And then I'd sell the screen I'd sell the screen from this with a camera issue and easily get 150 quid for it. So you could actually get 150 quid back for that screen, but it's just one of them things. One of the per one of the beautiful perks of this job is when you replace something, you get to keep the old part. Normally. It's not very often the customer is going to ask you for the old part back. Look, I've got an A2337 screen which I replaced um, as part of this batch. I replaced an A2337 screen and it means I get to keep the old screen. And even though the screen is completely knackered, it's all cracked and you can't see anything on it, the backlight comes on on it. And you can see, like, the, very vaguely, you can see a little bit of the screen. So I can use that as a test screen. Same as the A1708. There was a small crack in one of them. In one of the screens I replaced on the A1708. And, uh, like, same batch. A1708, small crack in the screen. Customer said, replace it. So I've replaced the screen. I've put that I've put that screen in another laptop. I've put that screen in another laptop. In one of my own laptops. And then used my own good screen. It's a perk of the job. It's a very, very, very beautiful 
perk of the job. Why am I missing the screws there? Nope, got that one wrong. It's one of these two. <laughs> Get all told, glass to fix the cracks. Ha! <laughs> Love it. No, it was like a, it was minor cracks in the screen. Like it's not like it was major. Okay, it wasn't one of them two. I will find the right screw. I promise you. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it. I will find the right screw eventually. Now, what screw is that one? I could have sworn that was the right one. No. I grabbed the wrong one with my screwdriver. Oh well. Uh, I don't think there was a... A small metal clip on this one. So I only took it apart this afternoon. Hang on. Yes, there was. Was that? Is that the right clip? I don't think there was. I don't think this is the right one. I think this is off a different laptop. Yeah, that's off a different laptop. It's not. There wasn't one. Because if there was, it would be here with this bunch of screws. So there wasn't one. I'm sure there was. I'm 99.999% sure there wasn't one on one of them. So that's fine. I will leave it at that. All right. Happy days. I'll leave it like that. All right. I've got a set of replacement base screws. Brand new downstairs. Because I have misplaced a set of base screws. So. If I can't find them. Then I'll replace them. In a minute. Well, later on, save hunting. Yeah, that's not the right set. Yeah, I'll replace them when I finish streaming. Fuck it. Um, yeah, okay. Well, on to the next one then. Oh god, that's a stretch. That is a stretch. Alright.
So I'll just say fucking around. Um, I think this one's another camera issue. I'm going to replace some keys once I finish streaming as well. I think this is another camera issue. Battery reports normal. Yeah, no camera available. So I need to make I need to check I need to check a replacement screen on this. Um Yeah, check a replacement screen. See what the deal is. What happened to the Xbox with water damage? Um, I've pretty much immediately written it off as not fixable, mate. Yeah, pretty much immediately written it off as not fixable. Um, it had a shorty 1.8 volt line, and um, when I injected voltage, an area around the RAM was getting warm. So I, it's either the RAM or the APU, but most likely the RAM. It's just not economical. At today's prices, it's just not econ economical. Right, okay, let's... Uh... Let's have a nose then at the screen on this. I haven't worked on a Steam Deck yet, no. Right, always disconnect the battery before you disconnect the LCD. Word to the boys. Word to the voice. Right. Test screen. If I can, uh, if I can connect it up, it's very difficult trying to do rapid tests with test screens. I need to come up with um, like some of these connectors on an extension. Right, that would be awesome to have like some of these connectors on an extension like so as I didn't have to worry about stretching or anything like that
it's my screen that I risk when I'm testing. Just for the record, it's not the customer screen I'm risking. Knew I shouldn't have took that out all the way. Right, that should power up. There you go. Right. That little glitch is normal on the Apple logo. Whoa, what the? What's going on with my test screen? Why is there a line in it? This is brand new. I've never used it. This is literally brand new. What is going on with my test screen? No camera available. Well, well, well. Defective unit, very possible. Let's just make sure that that's actually disconnected the battery. This won't be the first defective unit I've had off this cellar. It'll be two in two days. If this screen is defective, it's two in two days. Or well, two out of three, rather. I haven't tested the last one I bought off them. Okay, I think that might have just been a connection issue. Let's try and keep it still. But I did have a defective... No, it's not. It's not. The line's still there, look. look there's definitely a line in that screen.
and no camera detected. So the cameras don't work on it either. I'm going to be pretty pissed if that's another defective fucking screen. Like, there's no way. Look, the screen's not damaged. There's no damage to that screen, look. At all. Look, this is. It's still got their warranty sticker on it as well. That's two in two days. Heat the ribbon and stick it back to the, back to the glass. No. Mate, no, it's under warranty. No, I'll send it back. I can have the thing back. I'm not. I'm. I've bought, I bought four screens off them. I've tried three so far, and two of them have been full tear. The first one had no image. That one's got a line in the screen, and the camera doesn't work. Look, that can go back. That can go back. And you saw. You see, I've just taken it out of the packaging. Just taken it out. That is a brand new screen. Well, a brand new order. Literally just taken that out of the packaging. I've got another one downstairs that I'm going to test in a minute. But I've just taken that out of the packaging. Right, this is a screen on no works. Look, it's not like the ribbons are hard to connect up either. Look, that's that's connected up like that. Look, that quick. So I'm not misaligning them. Alright, fan spin. Thank you. No, Kyle, I wouldn't do that, mate. My screen's fine. My own screen is fine, the one I took off the last laptop this morning. Uh, this e early on this evening. Still no camera detected though, so I don't think it's a screen. So it can't be the screen then. It could be the FPC. It could be the, um, the actual ribbon cable. I will change that. I will change the ribbon cable, but yeah. Um, But that screen is going back. 
my screen is fine. There's nothing wrong with my screen. So if there's nothing wrong with the screen that with the screen that I've just confirmed it on, and I've already had a defective unit from the seller, then I'm inclined to believe it's a supply issue. It's an issue with the screens they're selling. It's a cable, very common effect. Like, no, I mean this cable, mate. Um, my screen, the camera works on my screen. I know the screen works on my, the camera works on my screen. I can confirm that on another MacBook if needs be. Yeah, MacBooks uh, Micro. Fun part sourcing. I'm pissed though because that that's three hundred and sixty pound. I'm out of pocket right now. Look, I know I'll get the money back, but that's kind of beside the point. Right, so, what is an FPC? Uh, these uh, connectors. Well, these connectors are FPCs. These ones are Lego connectors, but these ones with the class one are an FPC connector. Paul Daniels uses a cable. I'll have to ask him where he gets them from. Um, I do need one. I do need some LVDS extension cables. Um, just so I can... test them without risking damaging my screens. And that would allow for rapid testing as well. Like giving an extension cable. With the latches, yeah. Right, I'm sorry Cable, but I'm not forgetting about you. You are being taken out of there, thank you. Mucho gracias, señor. Right, let's have a look. Oh, hang on. Let's not take the map with us. Fuck's sake, why is he never in focus for me? That looks a little bit... warped. Kind of. Like just, um, just there seems a little bit wider. I don't know if that's... 
going to be the cause of it. Can anyone see what I'm talking about? Like just here. Seems may maybe a little bit wider than the rest of it, or is that just my eyes? I don't know if that's just my eyesight or not. <clears throat> but it does seem yeah, oval shaped, yeah. God damn it, I hate these fucking screws. These screws never come out. Right, you're a T3. Work with a T3 screwdriver. So now I've got to use a friggin' T4 because the T3 don't want to work. Which fat model PS2 do you think is less prone to failure? I'm honestly not sure. Maybe someone in chat can help with that. Thank you, Mr. Screw. Glad you could help. You bastard. Let's have a look at this side. I'm wondering if he's had a replacement screen in the past. Look, see, that side looks fine. That side looks absolutely mint. I'm wondering if this has had a replacement screen in the past and they've um, damaged that connector. To be honest. Uh, this connector looks okay. But this works off, the camera works off USB ports, right? So, while I've got the board out, I might as well just hunt around and just see if, see if we've got any liquid damage or anything anywhere. Anything that could cause any kind of problems. Any corrosion, something like that. Because one thing I do know is that they run off USB. So if we've got any kind of corrosion around anything, then we could end up with weird issues like that. Yeah, to be honest, the board looks clean. The board looks fine. Let's just... Um, let's just inspect this side. But the board itself looks okay. Not seeing any corrosion. At least not so far. <sighs> By the way, these boards use the same TPS 51916 that you get on Xboxes for the RAM. They use the same PMIC as the Xbox. Just a little FYI there. So they are prone to failure. At the slightest bit of corrosion. Talking of, I'm not seeing any corrosion on this board. So, yeah, I guess... Try the... Uh, 
replacement cable, I suppose. Try the replacement cable. Give me a cable, dickhead. Give me a cable. See? Them screws work like they should. Check for short on the webcam data lines. I'm going to try this ribbon cable first, mate. Them ones work like they should. Okay. Let's just check these uh, connectors. Do 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 do. That looks good to me on that side and that side. So let's compare, shall we? Let's be like the singing fat man, shall we? Let's be like the singing fat man and go compare. Hmm. No, it seems fine. No, he don't. He definitely, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely deformed towards the right hand side. All right. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. Either way. Either way, I shall try it. And I would, <laughs> if I had the board the right way around when I'm trying to connect the damn thing up. So either way, I'm going to try a replacement cable. Because it's not working on my test screen either and if it's not working on my test screen then unless something's happened to my test screen which it shouldn't have done because I only took it out of a housing this afternoon uh, well this evening so nothing should have happened to it and if it's not working on my test screen then we've definitely got some other issue somewhere do, 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 do. Could be software related. It could be. I could try, I could try a PRAM reset or something like that. Um, probably should have checked that first, to be honest. But never mind. What better way to waste your time than to look for a hardware fault that could potentially be software related? <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Is there a way to disable the webcam on MacBooks, like, in software? But then again, no, because this is at a fresh install. So surely it would, um... Like, if you had a fresh install, surely it would work.
Hindsight is awesome. Yep. <laughs> yep. You're right, mate. Absolutely right. Uh, you, you can live in hindsight all you like, but... When you eventually come out of it, you'll realise... That you shouldn't have been living in hindsight. Get it? Do you get it? Well, that screen clicks in nice and clickety click. Do do be do do do. Where is my battery screw? Love that feeling. Yeah, it's it is nice when it just clicks in, isn't it? Like when it just locks in, and you're just like, oh yeah, that was a solid fit. Fan spin. Right. It'd be drinking coffee time, I think. I can try the screen. Yeah. I'll try that if I confirm this working now. I'll try my screen back on it. But look that that silver one. I'm just drinking my coffee. While I'm doing this sideways. I'll never know. Mm. I typed in the password. You prick. I would SMC reset. I will do in a minute. I'm guessing that's Intel based. Yeah. Why does it keep saying it's shut down because of a problem though? Nope, no camera. Still no camera detected. Oh, that was a bit of a weird glitch on the screen. I'll have a look on Google in a minute if I need to, mate. I don't know how to see if it's disabled in the boss, to be honest. Oh, I'm always up late before those. Welcome, mate. Keep saying it's shut down because of a problem. No. MacBook, yeah. How can I help? Uh, well, we've got no webcam on this.
F2 or delete it, but not on the MacBook. Um, or is it? So the last one I had, that worked with a, a webcam. Uh, that worked with another screen. Yeah, I've tried other screens, mate. It's an A seventeen oh eight. Let me just make sure it's not. Well, I'll reset the PRAM again. Random question, when you're using an amp meter to check charging on a switch, do you plug it into 15 volt water brick or just normal 25 volt? Um, I plug it into a 20 volt USB-C brick. Um, so it's will negotiate the correct voltage itself. Um, I use a U Green uh, USB C Power Delivery 3.0 brick. Uh, damn it! No oh, camera. It's not looking like it's disabled. No video capture devices. Yeah, I've just changed the connect, uh, not the connect. Well, I've changed the, um, I've changed this connector. Um, still no dice, unfortunately. Right. Let me go and grab one more screen. Yeah, I've checked it, mate. I've checked it all. Checked all them connectors. And I've tried other screens as well.
I'm back. Bear with me a sec. Um, yeah, I've actually reinstalled the operating system using uh, a USB, um, and the USB worked fine. USB worked fine, right. There's another screen. And that is a completely different screen to the one I've just tried. From the same seller. I sure as hell hope it's not the screen. So this is going to be the last screen I'm trying. Search on eBay for what, mate? Yeah, Monterey seems like a decent OS. To be fair. LVDS cable. Um, what these ones, these small ones, I've got f quite a few of them, mate, to be honest. I've got a fair few of them. I'm good, thanks, Prey. How are you, mate? Or do you mean the uh, these flex cables? I thought you had to splice the LVDS cables though, and join them on. Am I wrong? Do you not have to splice the cable on? I need to figure out how to do that then because I don't actually know. I'm not putting pressure on that screen. Okay, that screen that screen does appear to be working. in terms of the actual screen no camera it has to be a board issue Surely it has to be a board issue. But what, what what on the board could be causing that? Have you checked the shorts? No, I haven't, mate. Um, does anyone know where the I2C lines are? Because I don't. I've got a refund, mate. Yeah, I did. I don't know where the I2C lines are. Let 
remove the bottom tray on the screen in between the hinges. Right, I'll practice on that. Yeah, I'll open board viewer. Uh, so it's an 820080 and I2C backlight I2C Tcon I2C Tcon ALS, ALS, I2C, CAM, SCL, SCL, CON. Right, okay. Guess I've got to take the board out for that then. Yes, I've got to take the board out early in. Could the trackpad be causing an issue? Or the keyboard. Yeah, there's definitely an issue there somewhere because it thinks it's crashing as well. You are right there. Uh, eight two zero double zero eight four zero, mate. Damn it! Left a fucking ribbon in. Yeah, A seventeen oh eight eight two oh double oh eight four oh. All right. Could very well be SMC, couldn't it? Right. Uh. So we've got C C eight double five two and R eighty five sixty two. All right. Toss some Xbox parts in. <laughs> Does the app have permission? Uh, yes, it, it's FaceTime and it's a brand new install. Uh, right, let's have a look at. Damn it. Uh, actually, no, I wanted that, didn't I? I wanted to be. Yeah, I did reset it. Um, I did. Well, I did a. I did a PRAM reset. I didn't do an SMC reset. Right, nothing coming up in continuity. What's my diode reading? Ignore that beep. Zero point sixty seven. No point sixty seven, that seems normal to me. What's wrong with poor MacBook? It's not recognising a camera. Uh, right, so where does it go from there? It goes to U thirty nine hundred.
What is you thirty nine hundred? That's this, isn't it? Because I'm walking in Memphis. What's this BCM chip? I know he's got a lot of I2C and clock lines and the cameras on there. Or is it like, um... Don't know. Camera flex on the LCD. Um... I've tried different LCDs. It's a PCI Express manager. It wouldn't recognise the SSD if that was gone then, would it? Is that a thing? There are a lot of... Uh, look, actually, it wouldn't... <clears throat> it wouldn't... Um, it wouldn't even pair on, would it? Because it's got 3.3 .3 volts and stuff like that. PP one V eight, so it wouldn't pair, surely it wouldn't pair on if that was faulty. But then nothing else would work either. Yeah. Could it be the SMC? Hmm. Could it be the SMC? I'm assuming that means replace the SMC. Uh, I mean, I could. I could replace the SMC. No liquid damage, no. Board's clean as a clean as hell. The board is clean as hell. I'll try a SMC reset. Does anyone want to remind me how to do that one? Because I'm walking in Memphis. Shut up, multimeter. Yeah, Luna and the kittens are doing uh, good. Thanks, Jess. Luna's starting to get a lot more comfortable around me lately, which is quite nice. Now she's starting to trust me more. Like when I'm around her, she'll she'll let me handle the kittens. She won't let. Well, she'll let Sarah handle the kittens, but she watches her. But then if I'm handling the kittens, she doesn't care. Um, and when she's around me, she'll sleep on her back, which is a sign that she's content. 
Uh, if a cat exposes the belly wall to sleep, then content. And she lets me pick her up now as well, she never used to. Left shift command and option, right, okay. Roll hold of the button for 15 seconds, cool, thanks mate. Mucho gracias. Gotta line this thing up now. Just make sure that's in. That's what she said. Because I'm walking in Memphis. Oh, I haven't got the uh, ammeter hooked up. I'll have to hook it up. See, everything else appears to be working apart from the fact that it keeps thinking that there's an issue. Um, so whenever I restart it, it thinks that it's been restarted because of an issue, which is really strange. Really, really strange. Um, damn it! I didn't want to. Didn't want to boot it up. Uh, let's just shut that down. Right. Let's. Uh, where's my charger? Oh, uh, there it is. My blue charger, I meant. Sounds like a broken SMC, but I'm new to MacBooks. Yeah. I mean, I'm fairly new to them, but. I'm picking things up slowly. I'm picking things up. Right, so it's left shift command and option while holding the power button for 15 seconds. Left shift command and option. Oh my god, let me turn it off and then I'll do it. Left shift command, option and power. They make them so difficult. Yeah, I'm not seeing current draw drop. It was holding at one point twenty two. Oh, control, that's, yeah, that would explain it. Left shift, control, command. Uh, left shift, control, and option. Left shift, control, option, power. Right, that's dropped to zero. And meters just reset. So I assume that was successful. Because I'm walking in Memphis. Cool that reset then. Okay. Still think it shut down because of a problem. Nope. Right, should we try replacing the SMC? Trying to torch at the camera. Um, yeah, but surely it would work with another screen if that was the case, though, right? Check if the keyboard backlight goes off. Uh, is this even T2?
Where's my torch? Oh, I'll use my phone. I don't think the um I don't think the keyboard is on. Uh, the keyboard backlight is on. But the brightness is changing. It's all there regarding the chip. Um, now it appeared to reset the SMC. I don't. I don't know if the, I can't tell if the backlight's on or off. I think it's off. But the screen dims when I cover it. Check the page I posted. What page, mate? Where? Well, I haven't got one of them chips to hand, so if it is that, I can't replace it. Right, let's have a look. PP5VSO ALS cam. Let's have a look. Let's find that. Um, Mark, it should be, it should automatically allow FaceTime to use it. It's not coming up in the um, system info either. It's not coming up in system e info either. So yeah, right. That means I rotate the ball back out again. Um, will the will this boot without a battery? Do these ones boot without a battery? Does anyone know? Uh, diagnostic comes up, no issues. But I should get that PP5 VSO alls cam on um, with just a USB C plug in, though, right? Should get that PP5 VSO, shouldn't I? Just with the USB in. Right, it appears to be booting. I get five volts on both. But 
but then it dropped as the current the board's just turned off. But I was getting five volts. Zero point thirty nine and 0.39. point thirty nine. Um, yeah, point thirty nine and point thirty nine on them in dial mode. Ignore the beep. I had the beep turned on. So is that not the SMC? I'm behind in the stream, but if the backlight isn't responding and the fans aren't running at 100%, the SMC doesn't stand out as the main problem. Hmm. Let's try this board. This is a board which I've been daily driving for a while. And I know this board works a hundred percent. I'm just wondering if something like the trackpad or the keyboard could throw it out. Like if there was a fault with the trackpad or keyboard. Because I'm assuming the trackpad and keyboard would work under USB. I don't know. But then would the trackpad or keyboard work? And just be throwing the camera out. It's definitely strange. Oh, I'm not plugging that speaker in, fuck that. <laughs> no. They also use the I2C lines. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know at this point. Right. Activate your bastard. Fan spin. What? What just happened with that MacBook? It's just turned off. Why are you just turned off, bro? Why are you just turned off, bro? Oh shit, it's on. Bollocks. Ha! <laughs> I'm an idiot. No password. Oh look, Sarah was playing on uh, Minecraft last time she used this. I think that proves it's a board fault.
think that proves it's a board fault. Not a screen issue. What the hell is causing that? Shall I just replace the SMC? I'm going to replace that SMC. Is that using the same hard drive? No. No, that's my, this is my board. This is one of my boards. This is one that I'm selling. Um, so I've got this listed up on eBay for £175. Yeah, I'm list I've listed this on eBay for £175. Um... Because this board works fine and we've got no use for it, so. Could still be software. Um, or you've installed the software, like. Literally today. Fresh install from a USB. Downloaded directly. Downloaded directly from the Mac App Store. More likely candidate will be U3900. Yeah, I ain't got any. And that's an underfilled chip as well. And I ain't sitting there reboarding that. So thirteen by fifteen. No, the drive is not soldered to the board on these. Um, this is actually a custom SSD I'm using in this. Um, I'm set, so I'm selling this board. I'm not selling the SSD. Not at that price. At least you know the screen is okay. Yeah, that is very, very true. Um, so we know 100% that it's a board issue. So I'm thinking, shot in the dark, replace the SMC. If it don't work, then it sucks to be me. Right. So I'm going to have to take an SMC from a donut. No, it's definitely not software, mate. It's not going to be the software because I've re I've reinstalled the software personally today. No, I I've installed the software today. It's I've installed that same. I've used that exact same installation media on nine laptops. Eight of those being A seventeen oh eight. SMC is a pain to reboot though. Nah, it'd be easy. Where's the SMC? Let's have a look how many it is. U5000. Well, it's less balls than the... Uh, it's less balls than the other one. Right, this is a donor board anyway, so... Nah, I'm not I'm not gonna sit there reflowing chips. And reflowing the SMC maybe I've heard of Paul Daniels doing that a few times, but only when there's corrosion. <clears throat> I 
I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll try and remove that BMC chip, but... I mean, that is an underfilled chip. No, it's not my MacBook, mate. It's it's a customer's. Gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, I'm thinking that you know, I am really thinking that he's gonna be an absolute nightmare. Well, I haven't practiced removing underfilled chips yet. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark at the SMC. Um because I haven't practiced removing underfilled chips safely anyway. But I've never successfully removed an underfilled chip. I've tried a couple of times and torn pads every time. Ooh, lovely. Lots of balls. Lots and lots of balls. Yeah. Ben does make... Ben from uh, Rescue does make it look easy. <clears throat> I've got to admit. But that is one thing I've seemed to be struggling with. Um, I mean, I'll get it eventually. Look, like, don't get me wrong, but... It's one thing I do seem to be struggling with. But this... This chip should not be an issue. This one should not be an issue to reboot and replace. What U4000? I haven't seen that. Hang on, is this going to fit in this small little section here? Just just about oh the larger rectangle chip right got ya that just about fit in there very little room for it ever where the hell have I just put my flux Oi flux where are ya just add ya I really have just had my flux in there, I don't know where I've put it. Well, 
Well, well someone's trolling me. And I ain't gonna flux about. So I'm just gonna grab some more. It's faulty camera what this machine came in for. That and uh, OS reinstall. Because it was. Um, it was just locked with a password. So. Well, locked with a password on an encrypted drive. So I wiped the drive, reinstalled the operating system. Uh, so this this company that sent me these is a refurb company. Um, so they get them in bulk from like um, university schools, that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, most of them have got passwords on. I can do this, yeah. It's Phil, yeah. My name's Phil. Yeah, so most of the most of them have got passwords on. To be honest, the company in terms of jobs, like in terms of sending me jobs, it's not bad. Like I've I've had three which I haven't been able to fix so far. And that's out of eighteen. Yeah, three out of eighteen. Well, no, it'll be three if I can't fix this one. Out of eighteen, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But I've just had to knock two hundred pound off the quote, and I really don't want to knock another ninety quid off. Well, it'll be more if I have to replace the SMC. But I quoted um ninety pound for uh, a reinstall and a battery, I think. I don't know, something like that. No, this is a donor chip. Um so this is one I've just pulled off a board, I've got to reboard it. Oh, unfortunately. It won't take that long though, to be honest. But it's not going to take anywhere near as long as you might think it would. Right, just make sure that's tight. One pad is missing. Um, no, it should come back. I don't know if you're meant to be there anyway. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Don't look like it's supposed to be there. I'll tell you in a minute. Once I've cleaned it. I will know soon enough. Just as soon as I figure out what the hell I've done with my IPA. I've lost everything tonight. <laughs> Past 20 minutes I've lost everything. 
including the will to live. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've knocked it over again. Right, is Mr. Pad meant to be there? Doesn't look like it to me. Doesn't look like there's meant to be a pad there. Let's have a look. That's on pin number one. No, it's not meant to be there. It is not meant to be there. Cool. The IPA is run off with the flux. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, the little the little arrow here is pin one, yeah. Right, just add a little bit of flux to that. Just a tad, and I'm going to take a wild guess and say that these are 0.3 millimeter in diameter. So, so to be awkward, to be very, very awkward, I do not know where my 0.3 millimeter have gone walkies to. Lovely. They're on the back of the desk on the floor. They're at the back of the desk on the floor. Of course they are. Of course they are. The ones I need fell down. It's a good job they're closed because these are brand new. So it's a good job they are closed. Well, off we go then. Off we pop. Because I'm walking in Memphis. And now, baby, are you down, 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 down? Down. Down. <laughs> I don't know why I've got that song stuck in my head. I do not have a clue, good sir. Just let it be. Come on and bring your body next to me. Why is this out of view? Okay, right, well, let's clean my tweezers. Get you in focus, thank you. And off we pop. Hey, no, no tweezers. 
You're not going to be one of them pairs of tweezers that like to grab every single solder board, are you? Because that don't wash with me. Ugh, a bit of shit there. I'm actually going to show you a funky little trick with this in a minute. I'm going to get Sarah letting you yelling at you. Yeah, probably. But I don't give a fuck. I'm going to show you a trick. If you if you're able to keep your hands steady enough to a point where you can reball by hand or if you just want to use this trick to stop it risking blowing the solder balls everywhere once you do eventually go to flow them. God damn it. Oh, I got shit on my fucking chip. Then I'm going to show you in a minute how you can flow these solar balls without risking blowing them anywhere and you can put the hot air damn it fucking tweezers you can put the hot air you can push the hot air um don't sneeze nah these these balls won't go anywhere that's what the flux that's what the uh, flux is for um no, you can put the hot air as high as you want in terms of um, airflow, and you won't blow one single ball out of the way. You can go as much as you like. You can go ninety nine percent if you really want, and not one single ball with no stencil to hold them is going to blow out. Yeah, these these are them trees that like to hog all the f fucking solar balls, ain't they? Get off, mother flippers! You use seventy percent airflow. Ooh, that's risky. Did you know? You don't even need to use hot air on the chip at all. To flow them into place. Why is he say to focus? Stop being a bitch. Thank you. Heating pad can do it. It can. I haven't got one though. Oh wow, that's way too much flux there in that corner. Then again, the chip's not going to stay on here. Get off of my property. Soldering iron brass block. Um, I've tried them. They are really good. Um, don't know where mine is. But I have tried them and they are good. Oh, I need to clean these freaking tweezers. Let's do my head in. 
Um, but yes, those brass blocks. Um, I got Paul Daniels to try one a couple of weeks ago, and he said he was absolutely amazed by it. The only problem is like, they're no good for like, bigger chips. Like um, you can do a PS4 safe bridge on them. On them brass blocks, but anything bigger than a PS4 safe bridge, and you're in trouble. Right, so now I uh, now I develop the shakes, eh? No, you don't. You are not going to stop me. I have nerves of steel. Rub tweezers on earth strap to get rid of static. Nah, it's it's the fact that the tweezers are just dirty, mate. As soon as I clean them with IPA, they're all right. I shouldn't have any static anyway because I've got my hand on an anti-static mat. And that is connected to ground. But my hand's touching an ESD mat. The the grey mat that's underneath the black mat that's the ES, an ES, the ESD mat, and it's connected to it's connected to ground on my um, secondary bench power supply. Well, I'm actually going to add some more <coughs> some more solder balls now because I know there's not enough on here. Don't want to take them ones that are on the side because they're covered in flux. So I'm going to add some now onto a mesh that lines them up onto the chips. Um. Yeah, they're prob you're, probably, you're probably talking about stencils. Um, you can use stencils, but I haven't got one for this chip. you got to do a PS3 fat reboard on stream. Nah. I'd get too many people requesting it, mate, and I, just, I don't want to do them for customers because they're just not viable to do. And every time I... Um, Every time I do PS3s, they seem to come back on me. Um, I need a way to get these solder balls on here without crashing into the rest of them. Look, <laughs> do end up wasting a lot of solder balls when you're doing it by hand. I have once and only once dropped exactly 400 solder balls onto a PS4 safe bridge. Which was literally the exact right amount. Only once I've ever done it. It's probably, it's probably like one in a thousand to do that. Like you're, pro you're probably talking very low odds. How is there a hair there? This is a brand new fucking tub of balls. I mean, seriously, how is there a hair there? Even if it's just for a stream. But the problem is, if people see me doing them... Like, last time I did a PS3 on stream was uh, a cap replacement. Um, like, the token replacement. And I had about 15 people contact me within... 24 hours. Can you fix my PS3? Can you fix my PS3? Can you fix my PS3? No, I'm not even joking. Like, literally within 24 hours, about 15 people contacted me. Please fix mine. Please fix mine. Please fix mine. Please fix mine. And 
And the problem is when you tell people no, they'll get angry at you. And they start misdirecting anger thinking that you're doing it just to be spiteful. But I'm not, I'm doing it because I'm not experienced enough and, I'm, and they always seem to come back under warranty when I do them. So obviously I'll just suck at PS3 repairs, so I'll just stay away from them. I'll let other people do them who actually know what they're doing with them. I've actually got PS3s of my own which could do with RSX replacements. And I just don't want to do them on a stream because I just know I'm going to get bombarded. That's the problem with having an audience. That is one downfall to having an audience. Uh, nothing is nothing is kept under wraps, nothing is secret. How have I got a hair on them? Look, it's a brand new tuber, fucking sold the balls. Got three times the value of the console. Could do. Stream elements just took a dirt now. What do you mean, mate? But yeah, I'll just stick to what I'm good at. I'll stick to what I know and what I enjoy. I don't even enjoy working on PS3s, I'll be honest. I enjoy MacBooks. I enjoy console, no, like other consoles. I just don't enjoy PS3s. They look ugly. The boards are ugly. Someone even told me that the board had a small cock. Uh, if I asked you to attempt to fix my PS3 and it doesn't go well, you have spare parts, will you do it? No, even then, mate, I wouldn't. I've had people offer it. I've had people say, yeah, if you break it, just keep it. And I'm like, I don't want it. I don't want your PS3. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I'll just... No. It might sound stupid turning down work, but... Yeah, there's plenty of people who are willing to do it. Don't get me wrong, stuff like reboiling and stuff like I can do it, obviously, but I went mean, I've sat there and replaced the APU along with five other five other chips just to get data back off a of PS4. On a live stream. Like I've been there, I've done it. It's not like it's not like I can't do it, it's just that like, I just don't want to. I would just rather not. I'll stick to what I'm good at. I've sat there for eight hours on one console on a PS4 in front of 700 people and successfully first attempt with a manual PS4 APU reball, which is what, 1500 balls? Manual PS4 APU reball, alongside manually reboiling the secondary RAM, uh, replacing the Renesas IC and then the other ICs that are needed for an APU transfer. Successfully done it first time. But I still won't do a PS3. I was there. Yeah, there was an awful lot of people there, mate. Like 600 odd people. But so that stream was by far the best stream that I've done. By far. Not just in terms of what I've done. Like What I've done was an amazing achievement anyway. But there's no denying that what I've done was an amazing achievement. But just in terms of sheer numbers, it was my single most successful live stream. 
I made fifteen hundred pounds just for doing the job. And then on top of that, I successfully managed to get the data back for the customer. Damn it, you mofo. I'd like to see you finish your PS5 SSD swap one day when I get round to it, mate. When I get some time free. The problem is, at the minute, I've just got no time. I shouldn't even be doing this. I just don't want to have to phone this business customer up in a few hours and say, right, I've got to knock another so-and-so off the bill. Because I've found another issue, or rather because I can't fix the issue that I thought I could fix. Because me, like a dickhead, I thought it was... I thought it was going to be an easy one. Oh, soldable. Damn it. <laughs> Why does the last one always have to stick? Uh, it's an A1708, mate. This is. I'm just taking a wild stab in the dark with this. I don't think he's going to fix the issue, but. I really just don't want to do the BMC chip. Should have been an easy fix. Yeah, it should have been swap a screen and done. But no. Evidently not. Um, right. That is rebold. Sort of. I'll show you a little trick that I've been using lately for reboarding smaller ICs. Well, it doesn't matter what size IC it is, it's all the same. Um, so, I have here. I have here. An APU clamp from a PS5. An aluminium APU clamp from a PS5. Can anyone guess what I'm going to do? I... I'm going to take my chip from... When I can locate it in the, uh, oh, it's there. It's because it's out of focus. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my chip. Off my um, chip holder. But I've got to be careful. I'm going to be super, super careful so as not to knock the um, solder balls anywhere. But these can take... Oh, I have just knocked one off. These can take um, a fair bit of punishment. It's stuck to the bloody chip holder. Oh, 
Right. Yeah, once once that flux is down, it can take a fair bit in terms of movement. Look, there's not much it can. It, there's not not much that you can do to knock them anywhere, other than physically crashing into them or something like that. But you look at them, like they ain't really moved at all. God damn it. Things didn't want to come off the edge of the tweezer. There you go. Just join one on earth, is it? This is the um, SMC off a MacBook. An A1708 MacBook. I'm trying to fix a camera issue. But to be honest, with the SMC, I'm just taking a wild stab in the dark, hoping that it's not the BMC chip because. I'm definitely not replacing the BM chip, BMC chip. Right. Okay, so. I'm going to hang this over the edge of my table. I'm going to get something nice and heavy to put on the other side. I.e. my reel of solder. I'm going to get this baby in focus, there we go, and then I'm going to take my hot air with the nozzle removed, and uh, if I can get this in focus here so you can see, yep, I'm going to take my hot air with the nozzle removed, I'm going to give this a little bit more width. A little bit more width. There you go. And then I'm just going to heat up, literally, and turn this heat sink into a hot plate. I'm going to turn this very lovely heat sink into a hot plate. We're just working on one uh, sleepy one. I'm going to knock the airflow down just while I'm bringing it underneath the um, heat sink. But now, let's go. Let's go full 80 at 60%. And now that they're flowed, I'm just going to move the hot air out of the way. And now I'm going to drop down to 10% airflow. <clears throat> just so as I can reflow them and make sure that they're all lined up 
from the other side. And those balls ain't going to move now. So you're just refreshing the Jeep. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so the solder balls that was on there, obviously, once you start to take the chip off, them solder balls split. Some of the solder stays on the board, some of it stays on the chip. So you can't reuse it. You have to clean it completely and then replace all of the solder balls that are on there. Right, I'm going to add just a tad of flux to the chip. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Don't tell me that wasn't fully molten. Uh, it wasn't fully solidified. Well, that solder board had better go back into shape. I don't think the solder board was fully, fully solidified. Right, I think it went back into shape. Sold left on the chip. No, I, I was adding flux and I just kind of like tapped the chip with the tweezers. Looks like it went back into shape, to be honest. I got it. It reformed. And that is absolutely beautiful. I like. Okie dokie. Let me just get the um, donor board in, in place. Sorry, not the donor board, the board I'm working on. Uh, there it is. Pin number one is going to be top left. Cool. Yeah, so luckily it was just one one ball that decided it wanted to try and act like a dick. Don't you just hate it when your ball tries to act like a dick? All right, 440, 40%. Let's get this darn chip off. Should only take a couple of minutes now. Yeah, 
Another MacBook. Yes, indeed, mate. Probably ending in no fix. It's being replaced, mate. Probably, oh, look at that. That was a beautiful removal. Probably not going to fix my issues, mate. But I'm not replacing the BMC chip, so as a last ditch attempt, I'm trying the SMC. As a last ditch attempt. ITC lines check for diode balance. Yes. Yes, they're spot on, mate. Hello from Oxford. Welcome, Hulk. How's it going, mate? So everyone, including me, we're thinking it's the BMC line, but uh, the BMC chip. But um, I have no experience with underfilled chips, so I'm not going to chance it. So I'm literally just trying a last-ditch attempt at um, replacing the SMC, just to presume all the filter packs have been replaced. Where are the filter packs? Because no. <laughs> no. Didn't know about them, mate. First time I've come across this issue where it's not the screen. They seem to be even, yeah, the I2C lines did. I assume the I2C lines are data, uh, data positive, data negative. Is that what they are? Same as, uh, same as like a HDMI circuit. Um, but yeah, they seem to be absolutely fine. And diode readings were spot on, like matching on both sides, 0 0.67 I think it was, or 0 0.69. Um, still going mate, yeah. L4007, L4009. Um, let me just check, is that by the ribbon cable thingy? Eh? Um... No, I haven't checked them, but I am getting diode readings at the connector on um, L4010. Um, along with the I2C lines at the connector as well. And I do get um, PP5 VSO alt cam as well. Yeah, I need to practice underfill chips on uh, some dead boards when I get some time. Cause I'm, I'm being honest, I've never done it successfully. Like, the only two times I've tried it, I pulled pads. And I'm not doing that on a customer's board if I'm not experienced. Reballing, fine, I'll do reballing. BGA work, don't mind doing that. SMD work, don't mind doing that. Um, fault finding, all of that kind of stuff, fine. 
but I, I'm not experienced with underfill chips, so I'm not going to chance it on a customer's board. Yeah, um, I think even Lewis Rossman hates doing the camera, but I'm just trying this SMC literally just as a last ditch attempt. Just for the sake of trying it. Right, that's close enough. This is just one of them. I don't know what the issue is, so I'm just going to replace the SMC anyway. With that very, very beautifully reballed SMC. Check that out. Can you do that by hand, Mr. Paul Daniels? <laughs> You've got to kind of guess how I didn't use a stencil. <laughs> it's pretty obvious by now. Yeah, it's going to be low airflow, yeah. But yeah, I think you can guess I didn't use a stencil. She be sexy indeed. A spatula tool. Um, what do you mean, mate? What for? Oh, for um, underfill chips? No, I don't. I do not, mate. That's one of the problems, is I just don't have the tools for it. Just make sure this is the right orientation, yeah. Oh, locked into place. Yep, let's get it, let's go. See that lock into place then? That was awesome. All right, let's go. 'll do very nicely indeed should be fixing series of my own what the fuck is wrong with this board yeah <laughs> got one here for you mate if you want it not a clue what's wrong with that board <coughs> there goes my new um, hot plate. You should do what I did, Paul. Use a PS5 heatsink as a hot plate for reboiling chips. <laughs> it worked beautifully. It works absolutely beautifully. Let's get rid of this fluxy wooksy. 
shall we? And then hope for the best. Let's get it, let's go. Paul never, Paul buys donor boards and he never chucks them on the donor pile. That's, that's Paul's problem. He always has to try and fix them first. He doesn't just buy them and think, oh yeah, that's a good donor board. He's like, oh, that could be sold on eBay when I fix it. <laughs> All right, what did we get on the charger? Um, let's just make sure he's no worse off first. Five volts, twenty volts. Come on, do your usual reboot cycle. Thank you. Uh, point sixty-six seems to be booting. Point seventy-five, yeah, that appears to be booting to me. Seems to be fine. Seems to be booting. Here's another weird thing with this one, uh, Paul. If he's still here, mate. When this build, when this board reboots, it seems to think it's shut down because of an error, which is very, very odd. No, pretty blue smoke. Yeah, that is true. That is true. He should have been here a couple of weeks ago when my board, when my entire bench went up in flames. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Sounds like the wrong SSD is in it. Uh, I've reinstalled the OS though, that's what I don't get. But it came to me for an OS reinstall. Um, I think uh, OSD reinstall and something else. I don't know if this was the camera issue one, because I've already had one camera issue one where they, off the same customer where they didn't want it doing because it was it was down to the screen in that or the flex cable or that so they didn't want it doing even with the reinstalled OS there's apparently a quirk between the 00840 versus 875 really now that I didn't know but I don't think so though, because these have come from a refurb company who get them from universities and schools, colleges. So I don't think it would have the wrong SSD in it. Because I'm assuming that these are bought in bulk. So unless the previous user, the person who was using it at the university or whatever, has changed the SSD, which, uh, I mean, let's face it, people at university are stupid. <laughs> no, that's got a seal on it as well though, hasn't it? Is that a seal on it or is that part of the actual SSD? Yeah, that's got a seal on it that looks like it's never been broken. Yeah, that looks intact to me. So I'm going to say it's probably the factory SSD. If the seal is down hard, then it's original. Yeah, it's original then. 
It's original. That's the wrong screwdriver. By the way, I know that the screen is good because I've tried a known good board in it. I have tried a known good board in it. Good to know. Yeah, it is very good to know, yeah. Alright, well, we'll be booting. So, do I need to do an SMC reset on this? If I've replaced the SM SMC? By the way, it should have been wiped. There's no user data on it. See, that's when it comes up. It comes out the computer shut down because of a problem. You shut down your computer because of a problem. You do a reset to reset the boot config. What, an SMC reset, you mean? Please work. Nope. Nope. It is not working. No camera device, no camera found. MVRAM. I don't know where to do MVRAM. Oh shit. I haven't shut it down for that. Um. LCD connector for the camera. Um, on the board, do you mean? No. I haven't changed any connectors on the board. I know that the LCD connector... I know that the LCD and camera are fine. I've tried another board. SMC reset equals MVRAM reset. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Connect on the board. No, I've inspected that. It looks fine. It looks perfect. Oh, I honestly don't know, though, to be honest. Still coming up with that ever. Every single time. Nope. Every single time it comes up with that ever. Press open to see what it says. I think it's give up time on this. I just don't know what's wrong. It probably is that BMC chip. But you know. Yeah, so I'll switch the board with this board, which is one of my own boards. This is a fully working board. Was liquid damaged. I repaired it on stream a few months ago. Um, and this board has been working fine since. And this board worked with that screen. Um, hold control option power shift while it's running for 10 seconds. Release power. I've just done an SMC reset, mate. Alright, let's open that and see if I can make heads or tails of it. Hmm. Face time and another. Uh, no, because it's a 
fre there's nothing on here, it's a fresh install. It's not opening that um, ever. I, it's give up time, guys. It's 5 a.m. Oh, I'm done. I've been streaming for seven and a half hours. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm just done now. I'm knackered. It's give up time. Right. <sighs> I'm just going to send it back as no fix. I'm not doing any more on it. I've got a headache now. Um, here's computer booter streaming, if he is. We've had a few successful repairs anyway, so, you know. Uh, yes, he is. Right, computer booter's live, so I'm sure he will appreciate it if you um, go check him out. The stream will forward to his stream if you're on YouTube and if you're on Twitch, I'm going to raid him because why not? Uh, so thank you all for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Um, I guess I'll catch you catch you all Friday. So yeah, take care, everyone. Thank you all. <laughs>